understand what went wrong. I know we can find a way. I know we can find a way. I know we can find a way. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Uniting the races with truth instead of dividing them with lies. We're also rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Hi, y'all. How is you? I hope you had an amazing weekend. It was, my weekend was amazing, more than a notion, more than appetite. It was amazing. If you did not catch the, uh, the fellowship yesterday, if you were not there or didn't get a chance to watch it live on the, uh, on the uh, internet there, YouTube, you can still catch it by part casting. It was absolutely mind-blowing. Anyway, you can get involved by calling 8, sorry about that. 888-775-3773. 888 77 Jesse. J E S S E. Jesse. We dealt with the uh oh, and we have every way that you can watch and support the show listed on Jesse Lee Peterson dot com slash show. We have every way that you can watch and support the show listed on jessaleepeterson.com slash show. jessaleepeterson.com slash show. And if you're busy, as usual, some people are busy somewhere in the world doing something, you can uh, listen to the show where you're working out or whatever you might be doing. You can listen to the show by calling the listen line on your iPhone or iPad at 641-793-1500, 641-793-1500. And don't forget to follow us on rumble.com slash Jesse Lee Peterson, rumble.com slash Jesse Lee Peterson and Jesse Lee Peterson on Instagram. Jesse Lee Peterson on Instagram. Um, I, uh, I'm typing a note here. I, I got to find something out. Amazing. We have a little technical issue on our side, and I need to. <laughs> okay, I got it. So, um, we, um, we dealt with the uh, last week biblical question. Why do so many people commit suicide? And in short, it's the same reason that so many people use drugs and alcohol and other people and whatever, right? 
They do it because they want, they commit suicide because they want to escape. They want to suppress the conflict that they have, the fear, the doubt, the worry, the insecurity, whatever it is. They, the people who commit suicide, they want to suppress that. And they think killing themselves is doing it, and it's not. Because whatever condition you die in, you drop your body, it's a condition you're stuck forever. That's why I encourage you to overcome anger while you live. Overcome the ego while you live. You don't want to drop your body in the condition that you're in. At least while you live, you have a chance to overcome it. All right? But it's up to you. And that's why more and more people committed suicide. They, more and more people now have in, inner pain, inner trauma, inner conflict. They are very unhappy. Very, very unhappy. Brand new biblical question. And by the way, you can listen to the uh, podcast uh, yesterday's fellowship at rebuildingaman.com. Slash church. It was amazing. Rebuilding the man dot com slash church. Brand new biblical question. Brand new. And one of the reasons I ask ask this question is because you have nearly all races fighting over what color Jesus was. And the color of Jesus, based on whatever color the people are, they try to make Jesus that color. So the brand new biblical question for this week is a doozy. What color was Jesus? What color was Jesus? Hold on, I'm trying to get it up and not going up. What happened? I have to wait until we get it. Hold on. Let me go find out what's going on. Back in a moment.
Okay. Okay. I think we got it done now. What the? It's on our end. Um, the brand new biblical question is, what color was Jesus? What color? Up to you're not going to get it. I just, I just, I, I, I turned off his screen by accident. What are you doing? What color was Jesus? That's my brand new biblical question. Every race want Jesus to be their color, right? And they fight over the color of Jesus. The black Israelite want him to be a black Israelite Jew. I mean, Jesus. The Jews want him to be like a Jew color Jesus. The blacks want him to be a uh, black Christian, wanted him to be like a black color Jesus. The whites want him to be a white Jesus. The Indians want him to be an Indian Jesus. The Chinese, oh, want him to be a Chinese Jesus. What the? So what color was Jesus? It's a biblical question for this week. It's an amazing one. And by the way, happy White History Month, July. Is White History Month. July is White History Month. And I think that the blacks fight over what color Jesus was. They think he black. He black. So they fight over what Jesus was more than any other race. And the least one that believe in Jesus. What the? Happy White History Month. I was thinking over the weekend, it crossed my mind, that um, I have never heard of nor have I ever seen, since I've been on this side of heaven, one race so openly attacked more than the white race. I don't think there's any other race that has been more under attack in their own country. It's not like they're on strange land, right? But I don't think there's any other race that has been and is more attacked than the white race. It's my blow to see that. And I don't know if there's any other race who have sat back quietly and allowed themselves to be attacked without speaking up about it in their own country, in their own homeland. As we all know, no matter what other lies are out there, it was white people who founded and created America and other parts of the world, and they invited these other people to come in from these asshole countries, and they attacked the people who let them come into their own land. And the whites won't say, no, that's not true. They won't fight back. They're on the run. And they have used the word racist or racism in order to do it like no other word on this side of heaven. And it's weird in that they are using the word racist against white people, white people. And the word doesn't even exist. It's a made up lie. It's a made up lie. It's just outright a word with no meaning, period. Made up meaning like most words. And yet, it can put fear and trembling into the minds and hearts of other people. A word that's not real, but it's been said over and over and over again and demonstrated it because when they, when they t uh, destroy the white man's business or something, they make a big deal of it in the media. They put their hand in their head their head in their hand and hold it up 
and say, if you're white and you should say something, you should fight back. This is what's going to happen to you. It's like the Taliban's. That's how the Taliban intimidate the people in their country. There's nothing new under the sun. Different situation, but the same thing. Why don't y'all wake up? And the interesting thing about it, it's a white man's country. It's like inviting somebody, to, a, a family member to come and visit. A family member want to come visit. And you're like, okay, you can come for a, a week. Maybe two, no more than two weeks. And they come and they take over your home. And then they stay longer than two weeks and eat up all your sweet potato pie out the refrigerator, barbecue and everything. You're like, what the? And why at the same time being mad at you and blaming you? And they are, they are overusing a word that doesn't exist. Even that should be enough to let the white people know the word is a fake word because they use it for everything. Everything. There is no way out. Well, there is a way out. But they're trying to lock the white man up. And this is for all white people. It's not just conservative or Christian. They control the white liberals by preventing them from speaking up and making them work with them. And if the white liberals dare, dare to disagree, it's over. And we saw that during that radical uh, riot with Black Lives Matter. Remember when the, as long as the liberal whites were going along with them and saying what they said, that, that was fine. But the moment of white radical Antifa, whatever they were, were to disagree with the whites or get a, I mean, with the blacks or get a little ahead of them, uh, 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 they were, they were called down, back down. Why do you live this way the whole life? Why don't you fight for your life, your own personal life? I was thinking about the homeless people. The homeless people are no good. They're angry, they're mean, they're nasty. They feel that you owe them something, and they don't get what they want. They're ready to fight you for free stuff. Why don't you finally make up your mind as an individual that you're going to be free in this world? Not just in America, but in the world, period. You could be free because the world, world meaning human beings, World, not, I'm not talking about the physical planet itself, the world itself. I'm talking about the human beings in the world. Human beings are evil of all races. They're evil. Why don't you overcome the evil inside of you so you can deal with it in a perfect way? Be in it, but not of it. Not even bothered by it. And let the devils fight one another. Let the devils fight one another. Stop fighting with the devil. White people are racist no matter what. There's no way out for them, according to these people who hate, who have anger, who hate. Watch this Twitter from uh, uh, this tw uh, Twitter. Uh, here's a photo of Hassan going to read. So if, if white people, if a white person, if a white person moves out, it's due to white flight, which is racism. If a white person moves in, it's due to gentrification, which is racism. If a white person sees color, it's racism. <laughs> if a white person doesn't see color, it's due to ignoring racism, which is also racism. <laughs> if a white person doesn't partake in culture, which means non-inclusive, racism. And if a white person engages in culture, cultural appropriation is racism. Look at that. Just look at Now you see why we celebrate White History Month. Ain't no way out. 
They have put you into slavery. Amazing. You see this? Happy White History Month. White History Month is set up to remind white people and all of Americans the greatness of this country and the men who founded it, the white men, who founded it and created the greatest country on this side of heaven. And now they have enslaved you on your own land. And my me and Mama Africa, how the blacks enslaved the other blacks in Mommy Africa. No big deal about that. And they sold them to the Arabs, and they still selling them in some form or another. No big deal about it. And there's something, no way out. You let the devil decide how you're going to live. You let evil decide how you're going to live inside yourself and outside of you, inside of others. What a horrible way to live. When I look at the world, it fills me with sorrow. Children today going to suffer tomorrow. Oh, what a shame. What a sad way to live. Who really cares? Who is willing to try to save a world that is destined to die? What a mess. If you want to be free, you have to overcome the hell that's in you. And you're letting these people of color lock you down. And they don't know what they're doing. They don't care what they're doing. Their hearts are wicked. And all they're trying to do is to feel better, make themselves feel better, which will never happen by making other people feel miserable, feel afraid, feel unhappy. And the blacks get a false sense of life from punishing white people. And, they only, they, and the blacks only get worse. Why do you think they're killing each other like not going north and begging and whining? They're not getting better. They are not getting better, and they end up turning on each other because that's what evil does. Evil or join forces to destroy someone else or other people And then it turns on each other to destroy each other. There's no love. There's no light and anger. If you don't love all, you love none. And most people don't love one another. They don't pray for one another. They try to destroy one another. You saw how the blacks were whining when the Supreme Court overturned uh, affirmative action, right? The Supreme Court did a favor, U.S. Supreme Court, for the blacks. Somebody finally said, okay, blacks, we love you. You're going to have to earn your way now. Because no one thinks that you can do it on your own because you're under affirmative action. So we're going to show the world you can do it. And the, and, the, and the black got mad. No, we need the white man to let us in. We can't do it. We want to lower the tests, the scores, and everything. And they got mad. That's how the homeless people are. They get mad when you say, you can't do this in front of my building. What the? And they turn on one another. The homeless people fight one another just the same way the blacks fight one another. And the liberal whites... And the, and the conservative whites, they fight one another. Everybody fighting. It's up baby just against daddy. Because it's a spiritual battle, folks. It's not physical at all. You can lay your weapons down and work on yourself and be free. Everybody talking about white supremacy, right? Here is a headline from Al Jazeera. Uh, it's another uh, as a zero report that Shah gonna, I mean Hassan gonna read here. Why white supremacists 
are not always white. Black and brown men committing white supremacist crimes in America should not surprise anyone. <laughs> what, what, uh, what is white supremacy crimes? What are those? I don't exactly know what that is. It doesn't say either, right? Um, no. Okay. It's just a statement that's untrue. Happy White History Month. July just feels white. We need white history so we should not forget the amazing things that, with the help of God, that white men did to make it possible for all this mess to be going on. 888-7753-773. Quick break. Back in a moment. I have books that are amazing. Highly recommend you get them. Seven Guaranteed Steps to Spiritual, Family, and Financial Success Guide. Even if you're not starting a business, but you have a job. Or oh, you're on welfare. It can help you if you do. Be doers of the word, all right? From rage to responsibility. From rage. That's why I write about, in the first chapter, especially, how I overcame. Scam. How the black leadership exploits black Americans. They are using them. And blacks are too willing to be used. And then my last book, The Antidote, Healing America from the Poison of Hate, Blame, and Victimhood. They are all amazing books, and they are helpful. Go to rebuildingtheman.com if you want an autograph copy, or call 800-411-2663. Okay, the Hake Report is coming up at 9 a.m. this morning. And James Hake, the guy with the good hair, is on fire. TheHakeReport.com. And at 12 noon, the American Anchor Baby. The American Anchor Baby at 12 noon. Amazing. And don't forget, it's why History Month, for personalized shout-outs, Go to Cameo, C-A-M-E-O, dot com slash Jesse Lee Peterson. And if you like your Super Chats read out loud, donate and you have your comments read out loud at jessaleepeterson.live. Buy me a coffee dot com slash J-L-P talk. Amazing. And you can get your amazing White History shirts and things at whitehistorymonth.store. Whitehistorymonth.store. And we have limited supplies of color and sizes. So go to whitehistorymonth 
dot store. All right. What I want to do is, I think I'll do some super chats and then to your phone calls and and some more stuff about white history. Super chat. Super chat. Super, super. Yes. Super, super. Yes, super. sir. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. Good morning, Super Chatters. How y'all doing out there, Super Chatters? Good morning. Hey, Hake. Hey. A leftover Super Chat from yes, yesterday, which is, we, we say yesterday, but it means Friday. Of buymeacoffee.com slash JLP Talk. Buy me a coffee. Retro Memento. Retro Memento bought three coffees on buymeacoffee.com slash JLP Talk. Hi, Jesse. We love your white history tees, as in t-shirts. Oh, thank you. Will That's white history month dot store. Will you be adding more Uncle Jesse syrup tees to your store as well? <laughs> they are a classic, exclamation mark. Nice. We would really like to have a couple of them. We'll be waiting for your response. Happy White History Month. Cowboy emoji. Smiley face. Heart emoji. I'll talk to my staff and we'll jump on it and I'll let you know. Nice. All right? I don't know what's up with that. Thank you. I appreciate it. On the Fallen State YouTube channel, Mari Uvaldo on Friday gave a uh, generous donation saying, to answer your biblical question, Jesse, biblical question from last week. Why do so many people commit suicide? People committed suicide is because they don't have God or Jesus in their hearts and they think life is too short and don't want to face reality. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Love you. Thank you. You too. Check out our fellowship from yesterday and it answers the question about why so many people commit suicide. Thank you very much. And that was from the Bus Life Show interview with that man and woman preachers. Oh, yeah, on the, on the fall fallen state. Check that out. Did you see that? I did. How was it? It was pretty interesting, pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Eleven children, nice. All I'm, from the same mama, I imagine. Yeah, I white babies. Nice. Same daddy and the same mama. Yeah. And I'm like, how do y'all have time to make that many babies on a bus? <laughs> <laughs> married at, she married at 17. Yeah. And like the good old days. Yeah. I think they should have one more because 11 is an odd number. You should have 12. Why is 11 an odd number? Because it's just, it just is odd. Odd number based on what? Well, it's literally an odd number because even an odd. Oh. And that, is that a bad thing? No, it's at at eleven. You can't c call it bad. Oh, but twelve would be feel complete. Can you imagine riding on a bus make making eleven children? <laughs> I can't. I I can sort of imagine it, but I but not quite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what the? <laughs> <laughs> Lin Lin Yan Chin gave some Canadian uh, super chat. Gave a Canadian super chat. On uh, the fallen state, saying grace equals grace is unmerited favor. It's not a person; it's an unmerited favor, and he spells it the British Canadian way. The unmerited part means you didn't earn it, but were given it out of God's mercy. Grace guides your face so that it might glow like Moses when clutching the Ten Commandments. Thank you. I don't quite know what I mean, but thank you, buddy. Because you are asking, who is grace? Grace is sufficient for me. Right. Nice. Thank L you. Lin Yen, and that's in the Bible. What? L your grace is sufficient for me? Right. M or my grace is sufficient for thee? Whatever. He what has God said. put his angels in charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. Nice. Uh, Lin Yen Chen. Thank you. Lin Yen Chin with yet another super chat. The imperfect can never become perfect, which means changeless, or they were never imperfect, mutable. To begin with, a thumper is merely intellectual and can't grasp this, for they are not sapient enough. Thank you. <laughs> I have no idea, but thank you. 
I somewhat catch it. What? Tell me. Because okay. I like him for real. So, uh, you know how I'm you... I'm black s- and slow. Right. You know how you say the real you is perfect? Right. Uh, they think that the imperfect false you can become perfect. Who think that? I imagine that the bus life couple were thinking that. And that's why he oh, said that. Oh, he's burning to the show. Yeah, he's still talking. This oh, is from about the fallen the show. state. Oh, yeah. okay. And so you know how, like, ah, I'm so imperfect. I need to become perfect. But that just means going away from the not you to the real you. Whereas some people think that they're actually, the real them is corrupt and is changing, has to change. Oh, I got you. Amazing. Thank you. Nice. Yeah. Lin Yen Chin with yet another super chat. He felt convinced. I think he means convicted. Convicted. But he wrote convinced. And that means. Well, why you call it convicted if you wrote convinced? Because of the context. Oh. And that means accused of an offense and thus insecure. See, doesn't that sound accused of an offense sounds convicted? Sort of. Don't, anyway. Don't pull me in there. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to pull me in here. Yeah. Lin Yen Chin and I have a connection. Evidently. <laughs> <laughs> and thus insecure, flightful of heart, womanly in seeking to pay penance. See, this is all convicted. Uh, Satan, <laughs> sa- it might be the uh, autocorrect. Satan is the accuser, mm-hmm. not God. God doesn't guilt us. Thank you. Nice. I appreciate it. Right on. Yeah. Uh, BJ, big A, big E, B I G E, with a uh, wow sticker super chat with some pounds. Thank you, man. Thank you. And that was from the Fallen State Church with Jesse Lee Peterson Bond YouTube channel. Mario Valdo says, Good morning, Jesse and crew. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Love and appreciate you guys. Much love. God bless y'all. God bless you. Thank you. See on something, 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 foreign language characters says, quit monkeying around at church, boy. And then a cute <laughs> monkey emoji with the tail. I had my monkey shirt yesterday on. And, and uh, so I said, stop monkeying around, boy. Thank you. <laughs> By yesterday, you mean Sunday church, huh? Not- yes, yeah, Sunday church. Yesterday, and- Sunday. Today is Monday. Right. Okay. Elise Aurelian gave some Canadian super chat and said, Have a great week, guys. Jesse, I absolutely loved your interview with Sneeko last week. A lot of young men need the truth, but don't know where to find it. Thank you. Check out the interview with Sneeko. That was last Wednesday, Manhood Hour. Oh, yeah. Sure. Well, my, how time go by. I know. What? Uh, thank you. Danny M. on Bond YouTube channel, Super Chat. The reason why so many commit suicide, this is the answer to the biblical question of last week, is because they didn't, oh, because they listened and believed the outside world. The outside world wants you to die. It is of Satan. The kingdom of heaven wants you to live. It is of God, said Danny M. Thank you, Danny M. I appreciate it. Mr. J. says... Hassan's dog and I watching church on Hunter's laptop <laughs> while eating the sugar he had in his backpack. Uh, Happy White History Month. Wish all of you well. July just feels white. Happy oh, White History you. Month. Thank you. And it's just sugar, guys. Although sugar is poison. <laughs> it is? In too much quantity, it's poison. Oh, okay. In low quali- quantity, you, you need some sugar. Right. Uh, Christopher Gonzalez, with a very generous donation on Bond YouTube channel, asks, asks, ask, is seeing judging, is seeing evil in someone, or what is wrong with someone's belief or action? Am I judging them? He asks. If you see it without an opinion about it, if you just see what's going on, you're not judging. But if you judge what you see, then you're judging. If you formulate an opinion about it. Amazing. Thank you. Verdades vitales. <laughs> vitais. Oh, man, I butchered it. Verdades vitais. Uh, says, with a donation, We love you from Brazil, Jesse. Nice. 
I love you too from America. Thank you. And that was his first super chat on the Bond YouTube channel. Right on. For her. Uh, D Retan. D Retan is a new Bond channel supporter. Thank you, man. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Uh, on also on church, R. H. Hernandez the fourth gave a donation saying, Jesse, I'm watching my pregnant wife's belly get bigger every day. Like, what the amazing. Uh, what the? There's this, uh, a couple women on Fox News. Uh huh. They do like, at least in the morning, they do the news portion of the show. There was one, and now there's another that was pregnant. Ooh. And they got, they look like fat cows. Terrible. On a TV show. I'm wondering. Why don't these women go and stay in the house until they had those babies? Right. It look awful on TV. I pregnant. Know. Yeah. What was, happened? There was some pregnant women in a in a clip that I'm that I played on my show. Yeah. And it was like they were like gratuitously showing these pregnant bellies and these women rubbing their pregnant bellies. I had to censor it <laughs> with a black square over it. <laughs> I'm looking at these Fox News reporter females, and they fat and pregnant, and <laughs> you almost want to cry for them. Right. And then there's this one on a commercial scene, but she had to be black. Uh-huh. And she's, like, up there with nothing on here. Right. Nasty Bella hanging over like a fat cow. It remind me of an Alabama, the cows got pregnant. Yeah. They barely just be hanging, and you think the baby's going to pop out any moment. <sighs> Ain't nothing. That ain't nothing to be proud of. I mean, it ain't. Put it behind a dress. Something you just don't put out there. You know what I'm saying? But they try to prove that they're equal to men. That they can go without a bra. They can go without a, 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 a high enough fat butt pregnant stuff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stop there. I got to get you some calls. Okay. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Remember where you left off. I will. I want to go to Matus out of California. Good Mat- morning, sir. Hey, Matus. Good morning, sir. White, happy White History Month. And, and um, now I was listening to you. I almost feel like a girly man asking this, but I'm going to ask it anyways. I, I, you know, I, I've talked to you before. I've been in and out of jail. I was homeless. I was on drugs for 20-something years. And for the first time, I feel free. I'm doing good. I'm coming on two years now, clean and sober. And everything I've earned that I love has come to me for free. It's only cost my time. But I catch myself realizing I'm only one decision of who I was yesterday. Is that fear natural, man? I, I mean, I, the love of my father and the, and the respect that I have from him and, and, and just the respect I have for myself now, is that a natural fear of, like, Sometimes I'm like, man, I'm only one decision away from what I was yesterday. Is, or is that just being a girly man? What does that mean, I'm only one decision away from what I was? Like, Because like, I, I, I know like a, a, a string of bad decisions because I, I feel, I know it was, just, uh, it was just me being weak because I did that all to myself. But sometimes I'm like, man, I've come a long way from what I was yesterday. You know, I, you know, um. It just it just seems like sometimes I'm scared of losing what I have because I have the love I have a family for the first time in my life and I have love and 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 I'm just sometimes I just sometimes I just catch myself like man because I'm tired you know all that abuse on my body sometimes I'm just tired and stuff and I don't know man I just feel like I'm it it just sometimes I just feel like I'm on a tightrope um, because that life is. Life is simple, but it's not easy, if that makes any sense. No, life is easy and simple. Okay. Um, and when you say you have a family, you mean you're now married with children? No, no, I, I don't have anything. I have a daughter, but we don't talk. Oh. And that's my fault. And what is but, your uh, question uh, about fear? Is, is that a natural thing to, like, be, be scared of losing what I have now? And, and I mean, it keeps me going. I don't but, want to be who I was yesterday. No, fear is, is unnatural. Anyone is that unnatural. has fear has anger, and anyone who has anger is of their father, the devil. 
fear is not normal. I, I thought so. I, 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 I thought so. I knew the answer to that. I know better than that. Yeah. Are you doing the silent prayer every morning, every night? No, but I'm going to. I'm going to. I seen. I just seen a clip of it this morning. I'm going to catch on to that clip. I just turned. I've only been a listener for about three weeks now. Oh, okay. I'm, I've been, have so you? I'm have, to, go ahead. No, no. Go ahead, sir. Have you heard me say that you must be born again of the spirit of the Father, and that you, in order for that to happen, you got to forgive your mother, and then forgive your father for not protecting you from your mother. I did all that, and that's why I've, I've said that's why I knew the answer to that already. And so, why just, ha, why haven't you start the silent prayer already? I, I I don't I don't know. I I just I'm I I just haven't. Well, one I'll thing for it. sure, and without a doubt, the spirit of fear is not going to be taken away from you until you can see what's going on. And so, it's not you. It's not you. You believe in thoughts and emotions, which is of the devil, and that's what keeping you locked in. You think that is you, and it's not. So what I recommend, Matus, is that now that you've gone and forgiven, that you start doing the silent prayer so God can bring you out. The light, the love of God can bring you out of the darkness of your imagination. All thoughts are all lies all the time, and so you're having to fear because you believe the lies. Yes, sir. So start doing hey. the silent prayer, and you'll be fine. Jesse, thank you for what you do, and and and, and <laughs> happy White History Month. I love that, man. You have a good one, sir. Thank you, buddy. Happy White History Month yep. to you. Bye. Bye now. Amazing. There's a line open at 888-775-3773. Jason out of Buffalo, New York. You're on the air. Hi, what's up, man? All is well. Hi. I want to talk about liberalism and conservatism. Like, you are a conservative, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, the conservatives are confederates. I'm sorry? The conservatives are confederates. Conservatives are confederates? Yeah. What do you mean by that? I mean, like, the conservatives were the people that wanted to keep your pe keep your people enslaved. They wanted to preserve slavery. They wanted to... Uh, the conservatives are the ones that don't want women to have rights. <laughs> I mean, you are a conservative. I'm glad you said that, but it's like, that's the, that's the thing. So, do you, do you know conservatives are confederates? The ones that fought for slavery? No, I, d I, I don't know that. So do you and and what, what, a, what about it? <laughs> oh, that's what I'm saying, though. Because you talked about, like, you like to say that the Democrats were the party of slavery, but it's a conservative value, the ideology of conservatives that, that breeds slavery, that wanted slavery. Oh, you are you are you asking if it's true that the Democrats were uh, the support of slavery and that they didn't want the blacks in the Democratic Party? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying a conservative ideology. What's the ideology? The, the the doctrine, the policies, like what they what they do. You know, like at CPAC when they talk about like the conservative agenda, right? So like in back like back then like the, the conservative agenda was to keep slavery, keep, keep all the slavery. Are you a conservative? Oh no, I'm a liberal. You're you a are liberal? Though. Yeah, you are a conservative. So my, I mean, I'm coming at you. What does it like, mean? Why? What does it mean to be a liberal? You think everybody should have their freedom? Like you, like what goes on in people's bedrooms shouldn't have no effect on stuff like that. Women should have the right to stay body. Like everybody should. Individual rights are important to. So, oh, I, I got you now. You're saying that if you made a baby, the woman should have the right to kill your baby in the womb? It's not my baby. First of all, it's not a baby. It's a fetus when it's in the womb. So you you're saying the woman should have the right to kill your baby in the womb? It, it, it's not a baby. In, 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 is it an animal? Again, it's, not, it's, not a, it's a fetus. It's not a, a baby. A, it's something is it an animal? Yes, it is. We are all animals. Oh, you are an animal? Yes, I am an animal. What kind of animal, animal are you? I'm are you a lion like or a tiger? Oh, no. Nah, I think I, I'm part of some part of like the chimpanzee flag. Not chimpanzee. So you're a uh, monkey? I it, yeah, I mean, technically, yeah. I mean, that's like you my, a monkey? My, my ancestors. I'm closely related to like... So if white people you know, call you a monkey, you would be okay with that? Oh, no, because they call it in an insulting way. They're not huh? saying it in a way that's like... 
is that they, they trying to be insulting by that. They're not saying like as we are. So you would be upset. Home. You call yourself a monkey, but if white I didn't people call, call it, you say you're ape, right? No, I said that we are close ancestors. I like we related to them. Like that's you, like you related like to the monkeys. Like yeah, you can say those are like our cousins. Those are oh, like, okay. That's what well, we like all growing up. Nice. Thank you, Jason. I got to take a break. I can't believe this hour is gone. When I come back, more of your phone calls and super chats and everything. We have a counseling service, and I have to admit, thanks to God, it is the best counseling service on this side of heaven. I counsel with men and women, families, and individuals around the world. Most people are unhappy they're miserable, they have rough lives, they're depressed, suicidal, young and old, of all races. I understand, I know why, and I do understand it. Because exactly what's happening in me is happening with everybody outside of me, inside of them. And I've noticed that with those who really, really, really want to understand, they overcome it just like that, out of one counseling session. If you need counseling, you can go to rebuildingtheman.com or call 800-411-2663. 800-411-BOND. Best counseling service on this side of heaven. Check out my new threads. No, it's a new it's a new social media app from evil Facebook meta uh, IG, but JLP Talk, no, J.C. Lee Peterson is there, and so is the Hake Report, if you want to go over there. And, uh, evil versus evil, the feds sentencing a, uh, a, a mass shooter from, uh, the El Paso Walmart. Remember that story? He shot up the Hispanics? Freedom is coming back post-9-11. You can carry, you may be able to carry liquid on the plane in larger than three ounce quantities, Someday soon, maybe in the next few years. Worldwide you can, but not in America yet. And uh, God won't flood the earth, but how about New York? How about just New York? Shout out to New York. We wish you well. And there is a health care ban. Gender affirming health care. What a euphemism. Tsh, terrible. On the kids. This is the end of our one of the J.C. Lee Peterson show. It is Monday. Everybody loves Mondays. July 10th, 2023 A.D., Stay tuned for Hour 2. Jesse Lee will be right back to your calls and more stories. The lines are full, guys. But first, fake news, not fake news. Call me Nonsense Network CNN reports. New social media app called Threads from Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, IG. Uh, CNN says some are calling it a potential Twitter killer. Wouldn't they like that? Now that Elon Musk is large and in charge at Twitter. And uh, that mass shooter, mass murderer, I should say, who killed 23 people at an El Paso Walmart in Texas, one of the deadliest attacks targeting Latinos in modern U.S. history back in, I think, 2019 or something like that. He was sentenced to 90, 90 consecutive life terms by a federal judge. And freedom is coming back post 9-11, maybe? Airports, thanks technology, right? Airports around the world have lifted bans on liquid t- liquids in carry-on luggage. Uh, but it'll be some time before the U.S. follows suit. Not in America. The TSA, Transportation Security Administration, something like that, is send- spending more than $1 billion to procure advanced 3D scanners that can detect potentially harmful objects and liquids While the technology is widely deployed, you'll be able to pass through, when the technology is widely deployed, you'll be able to pass through the airport security with one liter bottles of soda and full tubes of toothpaste, not just those three ounce little bitty ones. So say aviation experts. And God won't flood the earth, but how about New York? Heavy rainfall in parts of northeast U.S. has forced road closures, water rescues, Urgent warnings about life-threatening flash floods, according to Kami Nonsense Network. At least one person was killed after being swept away in floodwaters in New York's Orange County. Did you know there's an Orange County in New York, Florida, and California? I uh, should point that way. In New York City, a flood watch was in effect through this morning as local officials urged residents to move to higher floors due to heavy rain that could rapidly flood basements. Man, 
We don't wish that on New Yorkers. Over 25 million people are under flood alerts across the Northeast today in the United States, including parts of New York, Vermont, Massachusetts, and Maine, as well as across the country in uh, Washington State and, uh, I guess it's that way, and Alaska. Whoa. And a so-called health care ban. I guess it's that way. Health care ban. A federal appeals court has allowed... <laughs> Healthcare, Tennessee to ban certain so-called health care services for so-called transgender minors. The law went into effect Saturday after the court lifted an injunction prohibits health care providers from performing gender affirming surgeries, administering hormones or puberty blockers to transgender minors. These are all fake things, right? Activists slammed the law as dangerous and unconstitutional following its passage. Activists, I'm shaking my head. This ruling is beyond disappointing and a heartbreaking development for thousands of transgender youth, their doctors, and their families. So said the ACLU, the Un-American Civil Liberties Union, in a statement. The ruling comes after a string of Republican states enacted legislation this year to limit severely or ban gender-affirming care for minors. What a mess. Bring in the riffraff. Uh, major cities are going to drop their uh, charges for train transportation, public transit, and buses. I'm James Hake. Now back to JLP. Hour two. Uniting the races with truth instead of dividing them with lies. We're also rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Welcome to the second hour of the show today. You can get involved by calling 888 775 3773. 888 Jesse. J E S S E. Jesse, my brand new biblical question for this week. Brand new biblical question. What color was Jesus? Everybody and their mama said, in a color, this color, that color. What color was Jesus? Happy White History Month, by the way. Happy White History Month. July is White History Month. I was six years celebrating White History. We have every way that you can watch and support the show. Listen on jessileepeterson.com, jessileepeterson.com. And if you're out and about, whatever you might be doing, wherever you are, anywhere in the world, we're heard around the world. By everybody and their mama. You can listen to the show if you're not able to sit and watch it now as it's happening live. You can podcast. But you can listen on your iPhone or iPad or iPad by calling 641-793-1500. That's 641-793-1500. Follow us. Jesse Lee Peterson on Instagram and rumble.com slash Jesse Lee Peterson. You got to know how to rumble. Hit the like button, ring the bell, subscribe, follow, and all those good things. It is why here's and I'm going to get to some phone calls now, but I'm going to come back. I want to show you what happens when your heart is wicked. And believe you me, human hearts are evil.
they're just evil. Salvation is of the heart. You got to change it. Change the heart, you can change the world. Let me go. Who is on one here, Sean? Jaborius, a first time caller out of Georgia. Georgia, on oh my mind. Hey, Jaborius, welcome to the show, a first time caller. How you doing, baby? Just All is well, sir. Thanks for calling. I, a, I want to know, uh, did, was you called by God or was you, did you go to school? No, I didn't go to school. <laughs> your phone, you having some issue with your phone? Oh, you can't hear me that well? It sounds like you, uh, let me let Sean talk to you. Don't hang up, I'll come back to you. All right, let me go to Jalen, a first time caller out of, don't hang up, Jaborius. Jalen out of North Carolina. <laughs> Jalen, uh, welcome to the show. You're on the air. How you doing, sir? All is well. How are you? I'm doing good. Good. Um, I, my question was, just want to ask you, like, what do you think that we should do as a people or, like, the government should do to, like, to help the black youth, like, become more, like, moral or, like, productive people? Uh, what what should the government or somebody do to help the black young people become more moral and productive? Yeah. There's nothing that the government can do. The government should get out of the way. One of the reasons that the blacks have lost it is because they have too much government in their lives and not enough fathers. They need their fathers. They're yearning for their daddies, right? And, yeah. and they need their fathers to guide them in the right way. Once they drop the anger of the mother and return to their father, they will see how to start taking care of themselves. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, they, and, uh, before they took the fathers out of the home during the civil rights movement, because one of the worst things that ever happened to the blacks, but not the only, but uh, worst is abortion was uh, the civil rights movement. It really screwed the blacks up. Okay. And do you also think religion would help? Like, uh, not religion, but, like, just, like, them being more into the Bible and, like, into the Word and stuff? Well, uh, no, because they can read the Bible until the cows come home. And if you notice, most black people, not all, not all, not all, maybe a lot of young people, blacks don't know, but most black people are into the Bible but they are as lost and mean and nasty as possible. They don't have any love, but they can read about Jesus. The only thing they got to, what they got to do is enter into the kingdom of heaven within. They must drop the anger. The blacks are very angry, but it's at their mothers, and they think it's at the white man because they've been lied to and told that. It was, uh, it's about the white man, but really they hate their mothers. All right. All right. That makes sense. I appreciate it. Have you forgiven your mother? Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't really have any problems with my mother. You know, we, I was raised by both my parents, so. Nice. We got a good, close and, relationship. And so you went and forgave her for the mistakes she made with you, though, imposed her will on you? Yeah. yeah. And what did she yeah, say when you went? What did she say when you went and forgave her? Um, I didn't really like really make an apology to her. It's kind of like something that I forgave, like forgave her to myself. You know, I didn't really make an apology. I mean, like ask her for like I didn't really tell. Her. Well, don't you never ask anyone to forgive you. You forgive right. them. And then God will okay. forgive you because human beings don't forgive. Okay. And why okay, haven't you I mean, gone to her and forgiven her for what she did? Um, because I didn't feel like she did. She played a big. I feel like she did a good job as a mother. I didn't feel like you know I wasn't um didn't have like a bad situation to where she like she was like mistreating me or anything like that. So I didn't feel like I would need to go to her. Oh, okay. And forgive her. How about your father? Yeah. My father's been in my life and, you know, he's been trying to coach me and stuff. So it's, it's really just 
Uh, I, I deal with problems with myself, but I think my parents did a good job raising. And what and can you give me an example of a problem with yourself? Yeah, I feel like I, I got a lot of anger in my heart, and because I'm not where I want to be in life, stuff like that. Um, but I, it's it's kind of, it's kind of like I feel like I need to forgive myself sometimes. Forgive and, you yourself know, for what? Like, like I'm kind of like a uh, kind of perfectionist type person, and I feel like I feel like I'm I'm not striving as enough as I need to be in life. And when you say you're not where you want to be in life, where do you want to be in life? Uh, I'm talking about financially stable and, like, to have a family and to, like, uh, raise kids and stuff like that. You know, it's kind of hard for me to uh, date and stuff like that now. How old are you? um, I'm 21. And why is it hard to date? I feel like, I feel like, it's a lot of influence going around, like, and, uh, like, our image of dating has been ruined, like, by, like, social media and stuff like that. And I feel like it's kind of harder to connect with people in this, like, technology era than it was back then. Oh, I see. And you say you have anger. Where does your anger come from? Um, Where did, how did you become angry? Um, I guess, I don't know. I, I guess, um, just kind of fed up, fed up with things like stress, stuff like that. And it's a lot of like compounding, holding stuff in, you know, not going to therapy and stuff that that's, that's what causes my anger. Just holding a lot of stuff in. But how did you, bec- how did you become angry though? You didn't just wake up one morning and decide I'm going to be angry. No, I feel like it's, uh. I think what people say say about me had an effect on it, and that made me kind of angry at people when they were, like, bullying me and stuff, I guess. That's kind of like as a kid and stuff like that. But, you know, you learn to forgive people, and I'm working on my anger and stuff. Do you know, did you, do you know that it's abnormal for a male to have anger? Yeah, yeah, I feel like. But don't you feel like we should have some sort of aggression as as well? As, no. As men? Nope. Okay. Any male so that has anger people. has is a woman. It, it's okay. normal, abnormal for a woman to be angry, but it's totally abnormal for a man. Any man that has okay. anger has become like his mother. He has his mother's identity. Okay. And that's why okay, he's so living his... That's why he lives in his imagination and emotions, because that's the identity of the woman, which is the identity of Satan. Okay, okay, got it. So are you saying that we shouldn't be emotional? Is that what you're saying? Right. Okay. If yeah, you are an emotional male, you're not going to be able to guide a woman in the right way to go because it'd be just two women together fighting one another. Yeah. Emotions cannot guide emotions only love can God help another person overcome their emotions. Okay. So yeah, I got you. Your mother made no mistake when she was raised you. She was perfect in the way she raised you? No, I feel like she could have uh, been more protective and, like, like guided me more. But I don't know. I feel like hey, my mother was, like, a, she works a lot. She's actually the worker of the family, and my dad stayed home. So I don't, I don't oh, they like switch roles? Yeah, kind of, in a way, because so, my dad is disabled. Oh, I see. He so couldn't work. Worked. He couldn't work. Yeah. Right. And so was and, your mother patient with you? Yeah, she is. Yeah, I'm still living in her house and stuff and everything. You know, that's why it, it kind of makes me angry that I'm that I'm not where I want to be. You know? Amazing. And what what do your what uh what does your mother what do your mother and father say about you being home at tw- you're 21? Yeah. Why you I mean, haven't gotten a job? Or got you- well, first of all, how do they feel about letting you stay there that long? They feel they, you know, they, they still love me and stuff like that, but they obviously want me to do better and, you know, strive for better. If they loved you, they would have prepared you so that when you turned 18, you would have left. Right. 
but I, I, I told him, I told him I needed a gap year, so it was, it was like my fault, really. I, I kind of, well, they, they gave into it, but you know, it, it was really my influence that made them that decision. You told them they needed what? I told him I needed like a gap year, like some time, like because I was, I was struggling mentally. I didn't feel like I could go to school, stuff like that. But so yeah, that I, I feel like it was my fault. Do I you, feel like everything was my fault. Do you have a job? Yeah, I got a full time job. Okay, and why can't you just go and get yourself an apartment there? Um, I can. I've just been trying to save as much money as possible. Um, it was kind of like a money thing, really. And but, but if yeah. you if you had a job or get two jobs if you need to. And then get yourself a little play, nothing fancy, but something in a nice area where you don't get hurt by the blast. But um, <laughs> you can uh, work and you can save 10% and you can grow into manhood because you're out there on your own dealing with the issues of life. You're not sitting under your mother dressed here. Otherwise, you're going to end up like your father. Right. Okay. Yeah, that uh, makes sense. Are you doing the silent prayer? Um, no, I'm not sure what that is. I want you to go to www.silentprayer.video or rebuildingtheman.com slash church. And I want you to start doing the silent prayer so the light of God can show you what's going on inside of you and cause you to overcome it. Okay. All right. I'll do that. I appreciate it. All right. Give that a try. Let me know how it goes. All right. Okay. All right, buddy. Thanks for your call. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. 888 Lee or R is out of a first time call out of Michigan. Michigan. Yes, R. Lee, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hello there. How are you today? All is well. How are you? Oh, I'm breathing in and breathing out. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, I've been watching you for a while, and I, I really think that you're a very smart and funny person. <laughs> and um, I'm... I guess I'm calling because I'm having um, issues with self self loathing. Yeah, amazing. Speak up, speak up a little bit for me. What is self loathing? You know, like when you can't um, let yourself off the hook and you feel guilty about everything. Oh, okay. And why do you judge and, yourself like that? Well, well I don't. Because, you know, I feel like everybody else judges me. And, and But why do you judge yourself? I understand other people do it because other people are evil. Anyone that judges another person or even themselves are evil. Why do you judge I'm, yourself? I must be, uh, I don't, you know, that makes me feel worse knowing that I'm evil. <laughs> because I, <laughs> I, I want to be anything but that. You know, but um, but yeah, I have a lot of the anger issues, and you know, and well, because everybody keeps um that I know my family basically, you know, they're seems like they're always telling me what I've done wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. How old are you? <laughs> I'm sixty-five. You're sixty-five. <laughs> <laughs> You're older than old. dirt. It's been a long, it's been a long, 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 long. It's been, been a, a long, long time. Yeah. Even and hoving through this crazy world. You want to be free? What's your question for me? Well, um, yes, I do want to be free. My, my, I guess my question is I get, you know, confused about like things like anger, um, the Bible that I read, which is the King James, I, I, it says, um, be angry, but do not sin. So I feel like anger is like a human emotion that, um, you know, most people experience it. 
and mostly I'm angry at my myself. I don't. I'm not, I'm not angry at anybody. And what good you said that in the Bible that the Bible tell you to be angry and sin not. And there's a, yeah, I don't well, really. Know. I can't tell you where it's at, but it says, right. But it did say be angry, but don't do not sin. And what good has it done you for sixty years to be angry? Well, I wasn't angry the whole sixty years. <laughs> no, you have been. You just didn't know it. But you've been angry all your life. Because if you didn't have, if you have it now, it meant that you had it then, but you just didn't recognize it. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you on that. But anger, the anger that's in the Bible, doesn't mean human anger. Human anger is of the devil. God discerns, Christ discerned evil, but he didn't hate evil. He saw it, but he didn't accept it, and he dealt with it, but he didn't hate it. Yeah, he's amazing. And um, your question for me is what? Is, I guess, um, if you'd have any advice for me on how to, uh, you know, um, quit blaming myself for every mistake I've made. Uh, number one, I want you to know, first of all, you, the real you, have mm -hmm. never made one mistake in your whole life. I like the sounds of that. <laughs> and, and this false you, which is the ego in your mind and emotion, all thoughts are all lies all the time, and feelings are all lies all the time because the feelings are come they from... really? Yeah, yeah, the feelings come from the thoughts. If you didn't have the thoughts, yeah. which are of the devil, you couldn't have the That's feelings. True. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, but now how do you do it? No. You got to forgive your mother. Yeah, um, she was a rough one, but she had a lot on her plate, and, and my dad took up. I feel like I need to forgive him more than her, because I don't know, I understand now. Why do you feel did. like you got to forgive your father more than your mother when your mother gave you pure hell? Because that's why she gave me pure hell, because my father took a hike and left her with uh, a broken heart and seven children and but, never really looked back. But that was no excuse for her to give you hell. That was between she and your father had nothing to do with you. You're, I know that you're right on that one. So but, why um, are you giving her an excuse out of it? She was wrong. And, she uh, was wrong. And she and had I screwed. followed in her footsteps, though, and, you know, that's maybe why I feel so guilty. You became like what you hate. Yes. You're, you know, bingo, that's it. And, you know, that um, in my years that I have now, I'm really realizing that, um, you know, in my early, younger years, I was felt very happy and, um, you know, popular and, um, you know, felt like I had um, the world by the tail, so, you know, for lack of a better term. And then, you know, this life happens, and I probably turned the wrong way every time I should have turned the right way. Not every time, but that's an exaggeration. So it brought, it brought me here to where I can really um, see that a lot of the decisions that I have made they seemed right at the time, but boy, oh boy. Because you, know, you were making decisions in the darkness. You were listening to the devil and calling them your decisions. They were never your decisions. You have never made a decision your whole life. <laughs> That's funny. So let um, me ask. So how, your mother, so how, go ahead. I'm your, sorry. Your mother's. No, what were you about to say? I was gonna. I, know, I forgot already. Oh, okay. Your mother still living? No, she's deceased. She dead. And, and where's your father? He's dead now too. Oh, okay. You got. If you want. If you want to be free of the spirit of evil, which is anger, you yeah. got to forgive your mother. Your mother. You became like her. So, and you see yeah. that you can't help yourself, right? Something else is driving you. Yeah, it's so it's so 
on confusing, and I know confusion is of the devil, right? Too, but I, I feel like you know, living in this world, I and mean, the world is an awful place. I mean, it can be beautiful, but the world I'm in right now, it seems just so hard, and um, you know, it's hard to not get depressed. And although, never, I don't know if I should tell you this part. <laughs> Because I, I might say I was afraid to call you because I was afraid you were going to yell at me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, um, but listen, amazing. you are your world. If you get right your world right within you, mm-hmm. then yeah. the rest of the world you'll be fine with because you'll let other human beings go and live the hell that's in them, and it won't affect yeah. you at all. You are your world. You got to work on you. And so now you that know, you see I, that... Now that you see that you become like your mother, you got to realize that she couldn't help herself just like mm-hmm. you couldn't help yourself. Her mother screwed her up as well. And when, and when you see that, you will forgive her even though she's dead. You can't go to her, but you will forgive her, and God will forgive you. So is there a, um, is there a difference between honoring your mother and father or um, forgiving them? Well, forgiving them is honoring them because they couldn't okay. help themselves. When you forgive them, you're, re- you're honoring them. You realize they couldn't help it. But, and when you yeah. forgive them, God will forgive you, and he would take yeah. the spirit of anger away from you. And, yeah, and, then the, awesome. and then the fear would disappear, the loneliness would disappear, the doubt would disappear. They're all evil, and none of it is you. It's all fake. It's, a, it's the nature well, of the devil. And that's what God yeah. meant, that in order to live, you must die. You must die from the delusion that you've been living in all these years. It's a false identity. It's not you. Oh, thank you. Um I had an experience last night, which kind of prompted me to um, want to talk to you today. Um, you know, I, I feel like I do have clear vision, not like with my physical eyes, but in seeing, you know, what I've done and where it's led me. And, you know, I, I feel like, um, you know, God has given me a, some kind of discernment or something right now. But um, last night, you know, I was really sad and um watching a movie and I it seemed like um the beautifulness in this one movie I was watching of people that are broken that they keep getting up and keeping on going and, you know, I started um praising the Lord and telling them, you know, he you know, he he's wonderful because the love is of him, you know, and if you can um be beat up and everything and get up and still show love, you know, it just it just melts my heart, and so I started praising them, and then um, I was crying, and um, I think, I, this is going to sound silly, but I think I, I was said, you know, God, I just, God, I just want you, I need you, and I want you to please hold me, you know, and keep me, and um, you know, this is the part I was afraid to tell you, because I don't know how you're going to feel about that, but anyway... I felt like I was um, recovered in the you know, the loving arms of him, and I was still watching that movie. And every time I tried to like lift my head up or thought about lifting my head up, as I was feeling I was being held, I couldn't. It was like you know, it was like he said, "Keep your head down and just stay in my arms." about your little dream. Is that a silent prayer? So what? Would that be a silent prayer? I don't know about your little dream because I know that when when you have anger, you go, Uh you're unconscious. Even when you sleep, you're still unconscious. 
and mm-hmm. all types of dreams come to you, but it might not have anything well, uh, to do with God. No, but I was I was awake. I wasn't dreaming. I was you awake. awake? And, yes, I was awake. Had you had you been smoking pot? No. <laughs> 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 no. Do you smoke pot? <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, I don't good. Like, uh, it makes me paranoid. <laughs> That's right. I used to smoke and it made me paranoid. I stopped too. Yes. <laughs> you, know, you, you got so many thoughts and when you smoke, I'm like saying, I can't handle this. No. <laughs> That's right. But, but here's um, what I recommend. Are, okay. are you married? No. Where's your husband? <laughs> He's deceased, but we got divorced before he died. Oh, you ran I, him I off in the same. Done, I haven't, I haven't done nothing right. You ran him off the same way your mama ran your daddy off. Yeah, I did. I thought I was really somebody and something, uh, and I deserved but better. But you were a I mess. Me why. <laughs> I was. I can you hold on, Ar- 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 Arlene? Can you hold? Sure. Hold on. Let me take a quick break. I gotta take a quick break. Back in a moment. Now, I totally disagree with the way things are going, but you can't be angry because that's what the enemy wants. He wants to control you. They do things to make you mad so they can control you. It's like being married. And the wife would do things to make you mad or she would do things to make you feel good. And men do that to women too when they want something from the woman, especially sex. They'll make her feel good or they'll make her angry. And the woman's gonna have to say, you don't wanna be angry. You wanna speak up, you wanna disagree with what's going on, it's wrong, but do not be angry. Then you won't have fear, you won't have doubt, you won't have worries, you'll be able to see. But you gotta stay away from anger. That's why you must forgive your mothers and your fathers so that you can overcome the spirit of anger. It's a spirit and it's wicked. Nothing good in anger because it has no love, folks. You need love to defeat evil. And love is not a weakness. It's a strength. It's from God. It's his nature. Okay, folks, welcome back. We have the best counseling service. We have the best counseling service on this side of heaven. If you need counseling, individual, family, or whatever, either by phone, FaceTime, or walk-ins, go to rebuildingtheman.com, rebuildingtheman.com, or call 800-411-2663. 800-411-BOND. And I counsel with men and women around the world, all right? And um, happy White History Month, by the way. And for personalized shout outs, go to cameo, C A M E O dot com slash Jesse Lee Peterson. Birthday shout outs, encouragements, weddings, anniversaries, whatever it may be, C A M E O dot com slash Jesse Lee Peterson. The uh, hate report coming up at 9 this morning, a.m. Pacific time, right after my uh, show, thehakereport.com. And then after that, the Anchor Baby at 12 Pacific time, the American Anchor Baby. And Nick is on fire at 12 Pacific time. If you did not catch the, this flight this past weekend, Podcast and get on board. The American Anchor Baby, all right? I want to go back to R. Lee out of uh, First Time Call out of Michigan. R. Lee. Sorry, I made you have to take a break. I have that effect on people. (laughs) (laughs) So you ran your husband off the same way your mama ran your daddy off, right? Yes. 
So yes, listen, sir. you're going to be fine blamed now. Him. I'm sorry? I said I, I blamed him, I think, my husband. Yeah, that's what we... My, not, my unhappiness. That's what we people do. They blame somebody else. Yeah, I you, did do that. You have Every, children? Everyone told me that I was strong, though. <laughs> they lied to you. Yes, I know it. <laughs> um, yes, I do have three sons. And you, oh, Lord, you just screwed I them know, up, too. I know, I know. Keep them in your prayers, please. They need more than prayer. They need Jesus. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. How old are they now? <laughs> Uh, my oldest is 46. Wow. <laughs> he lives in Hawaii. Have He's you, have you, apologi have you uh, apologized to them for screwing them up? I have apologized to them over and over, you know, that, um, you know, I'm so sorry that they didn't deserve the treatment that, you know, I gave them, but. I didn't realize what I was doing when I was yeah, doing it. That's right. Absolutely. It's amazing yeah. when you're possessed, right? You're possessed with the spirit of anger, which is the spirit of Satan. And it has caused you to do all those things. It never was you. It was never the real you. Remember the guy, Paul, yes. when he said the things I want to do, I can't. Yes. And, and the things yes. that. That's what he was talking about. He was possessed with the spirit of the devil, and oh, he was yeah, not he was not able to change himself. And only when he surrendered to God, and then God got rid of the devil from him. And then God started to control him. Well, the same things can happen to you as well. Okay. Um, I, yeah, I, think, I feel like I... Um you know, I do surrender, and then, but then I take my will back on uh, myself again. And so that means I guess I haven't surrendered completely. Well, here's what um, you have to do. Okay. If you're tired of living in your hell, you got to let go. Meaning that I recommend you see that, yes, your mother screwed you up, and but she couldn't help it just as you couldn't help but screw up your kids and screw your life up, right? It was right. something else doing it. So you need to stop taking credit. For screwing up your life. It was never you. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I called you and you weren't, you weren't mean to me, so thank you. <laughs> no, I'm not a mean person. <laughs> no, you're very cool. But let me... Let me uh, uh, so I want to encourage you to stop judging, meaning it's not you. I want you to do the silent prayer so you can come out of the thoughts. God would take you out of the thoughts. All thoughts are all lies all the time about anything. Wow. Yeah, it's, uh, I never really heard that before in my lifetime, but um, I heard you tell another guy to go to rebuildingaman.church. Yeah, rebuildingaman.com. You heard about the silent prayer. Yes, rebuildingaman.com slash church. Okay. And yeah, I want you to start so. doing that so God can bring you out of the thoughts and so you can forgive your mother, forgive your father for not protecting you from your mother, just like your husband, your ex, didn't protect his children from you. Your right. father didn't True. protect you because they didn't know how to deal with the women. They were married to their mama. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> well, Jesse, you have a wonderful day, and it was good to talk to you. All right. And let me just close it out by telling you, stop judging yourself. The real you have never done anything wrong, and God has never judged you, never will judge you. He's not going to judge you. That's Satan judging you. He condemned, he judged you and condemned you. It was never God. Well, thanks for putting it out like that, because that really makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It was yeah. never you, it was never God. Sure. So, so do okay, the sign well, of prayer so God can take over your life. Thank you, Jesse. And um, happy White History Month. Happy White History Month. Doesn't July, July feel white? <laughs> it sure does. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Do the prayer right. and let me know how it goes. Okay, Jesse. Have a good one. You Bye -bye. too now. Bye now. Bye. Bye. God is not judging you, folks. Honestly. You of yourself can do nothing. You can't even do wrong. 
You have made, never made a decision. Just think about it. You wouldn't make a decision to do wrong to do something that would hurt you. Think about that. And yet you take credit for it as though you did. And then you judge yourself. Does that make sense? Come on. Come on, man. Come eight, on, eight, man. 888-7753. Eight, 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 seven, 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 Let me go to Canada and talk to Lure. First time caller, Lure out of Canada. There's one line open at 888-7753-773. Lure, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hello. Hey, Lua. Hey, Jason. How are you? All is well. Uh, nice to meet you, Lois. My hey. first time calling, and nice to meet you. You too. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask you one question, Jason. Uh, when I see most of your videos, uh, you say that you have to forgive your mom. Yeah. And uh, is it like, do you have to, do you need to have like a bad experience with your mom? Or is it just... Uh, Hold on for a minute, Lewis. It's such a good question. Can you hold your phone screwing up? And I'll come back to you. Don't hang up. Cornelius, a first-time caller out of Indiana. Cornelius, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Mr. Peterson, how you doing? All is well, sir. Good, good. Uh, just wanted to call and let you know uh, I appreciate everything you've done, and your word is amazing. Amazing. Um, <laughs> uh, I did forgive my mother about five weeks ago, and it went incredible, man. She she understood where I came from, and she understood. We rejoiced in God together. Um, but I I was reflecting back to uh, the video you played, where the mother was terrorizing the little boy, the uh, black mother was terrorizing the son. Yes, that was me. Uh, I grew up in Chicago on the West Side. And that was me and my mother. Uh, we basically did not get along. Uh, she practically hated me, wanted me to be a servant for her and my little sister. And I resented her for it. Um, but I forgave her, and we're good now. So you, what did you say to her when you went and forgave her? Uh, I told her that I've been resenting her, and her first word was, Why? And I told her, I said, you know, as a, as, as a child growing up, you were you were horrible to me. Uh, you did things I didn't appreciate. You, you called me names I didn't appreciate. Uh, and my mother, was, my, my father was old. Uh, Hold was on one minute. Hold on. Can you, hey, uh, Sean. Sean. I hear your paper and stuff, so turn your speaker thing, your microphone. Uh, I hear you rallying. You're about to eat. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, um, my father was old. He was an old man in the house when we were kids. So he couldn't really do much as far as protecting us and stuff. Right. So my mother just, you know, she just wreaked havoc in the house. Yeah. And to the point where I tried to strike her, and I hit the door, I hit the bathroom door, and I broke my knuckle. And my oldest brother... He, he decided that that was it. You know, you're coming with me now. And I thank God for that decision he made. Yeah. Because because now I own my own restaurant. Right on. Uh, my barbecue food trailer in Indiana. And we're just about to open the restaurant. They're putting drywall up as we speak. Let me uh, ask. So God you, has been very good to me. When you say, congratulations, man, really. Thank you. When thank you, you say you and your mother rejoice in the Lord, what do you mean by that? Uh, she understood. She had. She said she had a feeling that uh, I needed to come to her and forgive her because she had the same weight and heaviness that I did. And it seems like she knew what I was going to say before I said it. Like her, her, she felt it. And the moment I said, you know, I forgive you, and we just burst it out into tears, like, you know, just re rejoicing, just thanking God that we, he brought us to this moment together. And we can forgive each other and move on. Where's your father now? Uh, he did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he died when I was 18. Amazing. Good, man. Yeah. Are you doing the silent prayer now? Yes, I am, sir. Yes. 
And what do you think um, about the silent prayer? It has allowed me to stay out of thoughts. It has allowed me to remain present in the Lord. And it just it's just been great. And I noticed, too, before I got rid of the anger, that I would take out... I, I basically became what I hated, like you say. Yeah. And I was, I was, you know, like that towards my kids. And then I caught wind of your show and just stayed tuned. And you really opened it up for me, man. You know, forgive. And that's what I did. And, and God forgave me. And life has been great, man. Well, stay with the prayer. Stay with the prayer. You haven't seen anything yet. It gets better and clearer and clearer. And your way will be made easy. Life will become easier. Very easy and simple. Stay with it, all right? And congratulations on that, man. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, stay with the prayer no matter what situation comes, no matter what happens outside of you or inside. You stay with the prayer. You see, you haven't seen God yet. Just wait. Amazing. I appreciate you, sir. You and thank you for your great work and keep it up, man. Right on. You're welcome, man. And stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it, all right? Will do. All right, God bless you, Cornelius. God bless you too, sir. All right. Amazing. Forgiveness, you got to go and forgive mama. Everybody always say, Daddy. And yes, forgive Daddy too, because if you don't love your earthly father, and anyone that has not forgiven don't have love, this is it. They can say what they want. But if you have not forgiven your earthly father, you would never know God. It's amazing how these mama treat these, these children. What a mess. Oh, I wanted to ask Cornelia, did he look like his daddy? Because if you look like your daddy, whether you're a boy or a girl, you look like your father or you're close to your father, whether you look like him or not, but you're close to him, your mama going to take you down because she wants all the attention for her own ego and she wants you to give none to the father. Zero. That spirit of evil, which is of the devil, don't like the father. It has nothing to do with the father. It hates the father. Deontay out of Florida. Uh, let's see here. De Deontay, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hey, how are you doing today? All is well, sir. How are you? You doing well. Good. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to answer the biblical question. Um. What color was Jesus? I think Jesus uh, in the flesh was in Middle Eastern, but I think he had two. He had his, you know, him, which is the flesh, and then the spirit. And the spirit doesn't have a color. And why do you think he was Middle Eastern? Because Jerusalem's in the Middle East. Oh, okay. And what color is the Middle Eastern person? I don't know. Like <laughs> brown or something? I don't know. Some color. <laughs> okay. I appreciate that, man. I will put my little two cents in on Sunday, and uh, I want to hear from some other about it. Thank you for responding to that, all right? Cool. You have a good day. You too, buddy. Amazing. 888 uh, Bernard is a first-time caller out of Switzerland. Heard around the world by everybody and their mama. Bernard, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Thank you, sir. Mr. Peterson, I uh, want to express a couple of things. Um, respect for you as a person and also the patience you bring in into every moment. Sometimes I can tell, like, for, for a little moment, your eyes change, and then I see you go back to patience mode, and I love it how you are funny, honest, and I think you are being misrepresented um, in the clip. I think they're just taking whatever feed their media or moment, and uh, I must say that I feel that you are not only a nice person, you are also clear volume. 
you see and feel more than the average. Not saying that the average cannot reach your point, but you are, I mean, the highest example in the age you are still giving like the 100% to motivate all youngsters which are waiting for an impulse. So uh, these are the points I wanted to express. Well, I appreciate that, man. Are you? Have you overcome your anger? I'm 49, and I feel that I'm in balance with my anger. I um, I feel close to God without wanting to uh, mis- misrepresent God or abuse His name. Um, but I think that. What will also happen is that the truth of you, which is very positive, will be, uh, I think in the next six months, you will grow 10 times. I appreciate that. Have you overcome your anger? Um, What I can tell you is that uh, I don't think so completely, and you are right of asking me again because you are not ignoring things. Um, if you permit, I would like to express that when I was in my 20s, I met somebody which I considered like a mentor, and he recognized um, the lack of uh, communication I had with my father, and I was in a successful trading position, trading with empty carpets. And he found that voice and the words he knew he had to express for me to financially carry him for 20 years without realizing it myself, being manipulated in mind. So what I can tell you is I don't talk with my mother. My father has passed. I'm not trying to victimize myself. I'm trying to... Um, approach it in my, with my fullness without the need of somebody, you know, like um, saying poor boy or anything. But, yeah, this is where I'm standing right now. It's, um, I'm just praying that at the end of the day, all debt will be settled in honesty. Let me, because of time and then I'm black and slow, have you overcome your anger? I, I, I feel enlightened, and it's new work every moment. It's not a state which you approach or you, you know, arrive at, and then, from, and then you have nothing else to do. I think you have to stay. What, what I have learned is that I have but to Let stay. me do this, though, because yes. of time, and we're about to run out of time here. Are you, have you overcome your anger? No, sir. And why haven't you forgiven your mother? Because she screamed at me so, like, until just a few years ago, like, constantly. And that's a reason Very not young. to forgive her, but how will you become free of anger if you don't forgive the person that caused the anger for you? I can, I can speak it out to her. My question is, um, will it cover all the zones in my heart, will I mean it 100% because I do not want this to become a technicality. I would give that no thought at all. The moment you see that you have the anger and that you're wrong for judging for having it, go and forgive and see what happens. You'll see what happens. You can't, you can't think it through before it happens because you don't know you don't know God's thoughts, you don't know his ways yet. Yeah. You will once you go and forgive your mother. But you can't think what will or will not happen and how much you want it to happen. If you can see that you're wrong for having the anger and go and forgive, the, re- the rest will be easy. Thank you. I, I, will, I will gladly try it 
and also give you an update okay. on the happening. And you don't it's need her to admit it. You don't need her, whatever, if you want to hold on to her own personal hell, that's on her. But you forgive so God can forgive you. All right? Okay. Thank you, sir. All right, I buddy. wish you happiness and health. All the best. Okay, you too. I got to take a break. One more hour to go. Hank is coming in with the hate news, not the fake news. I'll be back in a moment. You can't run from evil within yourself or outside of self. You got to deal with it. And you need good in order to deal with evil. And God is good. You need to return to the Father. And you'll see within you, he will fight the battle for you. And he will fight it without. Because he will show you how to deal with it. And you will have no fear. Love God with all your heart, all your soul, all your might, along with nothing else. Nothing else means yourself, your children, your wife, your things, your ego, your reputation, and all that. You can't care about any of that. The children of anger will use it to control you. But if you love God, he will renew your mind and none of those things will be before him. And so when they go after you, oh, well, you may take my body, you may take my things, but you're not going to take my soul. And that's a true reality. That's a fast woman. Fast as in speedy. I'll tell you who I'm talking about. And uh, bringing in the riffraff onto the public transit systems in the big cities. What a mess. And baby killing is banned in Iowa. Unborn baby killing. You know, abortion. I guess we should call it reproductive health care. This is the end of our... One, two of the Jesse Lee Peterson Show. It is Monday. Everybody loves Mondays. July 10th, 2023 AD. JLP will be right back. Stay tuned. Uh, for hour three, last hour of the Jesse Lee Peterson Show. But first, fake news, not fake news. Lines are full. You, can, you guys can call in, call in, call in as JLP uh, finishes up with other callers. But first, uh, Commie Nonsense Network, CNN reports 10 Point six five seconds. That's how many seconds it took for Sharika Jackson to finish the 100-meter race at the Jamaican Championships over the weekend, making her the joint fifth, tied for fifth. That makes her sixth. Uh, fastest woman of all time. Congratulations, Sharika Jackson. She black. Uh, bring in the riffraff. More major cities in the United States are letting people ride People ride the public transit system for free. According to Call Me Nonsense Network, among the latest cities to drop their fares for public transit are Raleigh, North Carolina, Richmond, Virginia, Olympia, Washington, Tucson, Arizona, Kansas City, Missouri, I think, or Kansas, I think, Missouri, Alexandria, Virginia. Denver is also planning to drop fares across its system this summer while Boston is piloting three zero-fare public bus routes. Additionally, New York City is expected to test free buses on five lines. Proponents say eliminating fares will give badly needed boost to ridership and compel more people to get out of their cars for daily commutes and large events. They also say it will remove cost burdens for lower-income riders and reduce boarding times, fee transit experience, Experiments began a decade began decades ago, multiple decades, but the concept has recently received a push as urban areas, urban, look to mass transit to reduce carbon emissions and ease inequality. Please, commies. Baby killing in Iowa, not okay. Uh, Tuesday, t- tomorrow, Iowa female, is she female? Governor, Republican Governor Kim Reynolds, she will convene a special legislative session, I believe it's a she, for the sole task of passing abortion restrictions. The governor's call, or governess's call, for lawmakers to return comes weeks after Iowa's Supreme Court declined to lift a block on the state's 
six-week abortion ban, deadlocking in a three-to-three vote on whether to overturn a lower court decision that deemed the 2018 law unconstitutional, according to CNN. And the January 6er, was he armed in Obama's D.C. neighborhood? On Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, a detention hearing is set for the man, male, who was arrested late last month with firearms in uh, former president, the worst president, Barack Obama's Washington, D.C. neighborhood. He's accused of threatening several politicians or a number of politicians. The uh, suspect had an open warrant for his arrest related to charges stemming from his involvement in the January, 20, January 6, 2021 uh, supposed attack on the U.S. Capitol. He was apprehended a day after claiming on a live stream that he had a detonator. Whoa, what did you say? What in the world? Maybe he deserves to be captured. Federal prosecutors said that they plan to file felony charges against him. And uh, Israel is divided. Did you know this? Massive protests are erupting, according to CNN, across Israel for the 27th consecutive week. That's like half a year, more than half a year, as people rally a against the government's judicial overhaul plan, or a bunch of liberals, I think. Uh, Organizers have estimated around 365,000 people have come out in cities around the country of uh, Israel, with 180,000 people in the streets in the center of central Tel Aviv alone. Uh, The protests come just a week before a key vote in the national legislature today, later today, to lessen judicial oversight over the executive and legislative branches. I'm James Hake. Now back to JLP, Hour 3. Uniting the races with truth instead of dividing them with lies. We're also rebuilding the family by rebuilding the man. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Welcome to the um, third hour of the show already. That's amazing. You can get involved by calling 888-775-3773, 888-77-JESSE. J-E-S-S-E, Jesse. Brand new biblical question for this week. Brand new biblical question. What color was Jesus? What color was Jesus? Isn't that an amazing question? Yes, Jesse, that's an amazing question. We have every way that you can watch and support the show listed on jessaleepeterson.com slash show. jessaleepeterson.com slash show. And if you're out and about anywhere in the world, stuck in the airport, high or pot, or fitting off, or... What the? Or you, uh, 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 you're, you're black and you're over in the... Suburb, now you're about to rob a white person or whatever. Black excellence. You can listen to the show anywhere in the world on your iPhone, iPad by calling the listen line on Talk Stream Live at 641 793 1500. 641 793 1500. And don't forget to follow us, like, hit the, hit the button, subscribe, and all that. Ring the bell. And follow us, Dale, Jesse Lee Peterson, on Instagram and rumble. You got to know how to rumble. 
dot com slash Jesse Lee Peterson. So happy White History Month. July is White History Month. This is our sixth year of celebrating white history around the world. We got to remember, lest we forget. And they are trying to destroy white history and replace it with junk, with nothing. No talented people trying to destroy talent. What a mess. What a mess. In the first hour, speaking of white history, then I'll get back to your phone calls and super chats and everything. Uh, Speaking of uh, white history and anger, it's up to you folks. You can either be free or enslaved by anger. And I promise you, without a doubt, Every human being that has anger is enslaved. You're enslaved. You have fear. You have, you're judgmental. You're evil at heart. And misery is yours. And not only are you taking it out on on yourself, you're trying to take it out on others. It ain't love. I would suggest do what you want. That you have Mercy on yourself by letting the anger go. Have mercy on yourself. I hear people always begging God for mercy. Mercy! But they don't have it on themselves. They think that they're doing this mess to themselves, and they're not. You're taking credit for being evil or doing evil works. What a sad way to live. Christ came that you might be free and have perfect peace. That your life might be easy, your burdens be light. But you don't believe that. It's going to everybody else have a hell of a life. You think that's normal. That's just human nature. It might be human nature, but it's not God's nature. And human nature is of the devil. Your load is heavy, and your way is difficult. Overcome anger, that will change. And I told you that people with anger, they would try to destroy you, or, and they would build a group, and then they'd turn on the group. You know how they're trying to turn on white people? They're blaming white people. And by the way, anyone, any adult that blame anybody for the way you are, the way you feel, except your mama and your daddy, as an adult, you are responsible, right? Anyone that blames someone else is weak. You are a weak loser. I know, but, oh, just a loser. Nobody is responsible for how you feel except you. Yes, you were recreated in your mother's image because your father didn't protect you from her. He was beta. But... As an adult, you have a responsibility to overcome it. And so the people are blaming the whites. They are joining forces together, and they're going after white folks and blaming them. What losers, huh? Blaming the whites. And so and once they join forces together against the whites, and they think they've done the whites up, they'll start to turn on one another. And so I have hate here, and I want to play this sound bite and have hate respond to it, and then I take your calls and all that good stuff, all right? Here's an example of how evil not only turn on you within you, know thyself within thyself, it turn on the group that you identify with too. There's no peace in evil. Why? This is, this is mind-blowing. This is from the revolver. You know, earlier in the first hour, we showed you how white people are racist no matter what, right? They blame whites for everything. And then we showed you where so-called white supremacy is supposed to be. 
And on Azazuri, there's no way out, no matter what. You white, you're racist. And I want to show you now how they turn on one another. Once they think they have defeated the white man, they turn on. What does mama do when you apologize to mama? She turn on you. What does mama do when you look like daddy or you close to daddy? She turn on you. And she called mama's love special. Why is this? What has happened since these people turn on white folks? This is from the revolver. Even though we were revolver news, even though we were told everything would cool down once whites wasn't calling the shots. You know how they don't want white people to call the shots anymore? Like they know how to do it, so they don't want white people to do it anymore. Well, even though we've been told, we were told that everything would cool down once whites were calling, were calling the shots, race relations in Africa seem to be spiraling. Zimbabwe black president is now pointing finger at Indian shop owners, blaming them for stockpiling goods and hiking prices. Watch this from Twitter. Well, we know today that some Indians in Iran are stalking basic goods in warehouses. Let me warn them. Um, everywhere people are investigating these warehouses and if it is true, we shall conf confiscate not only the warehouses but the things inside. And they give it to you. And this is this. If they want to hold, that is the grand hold of the Zopam, not in Zimbabwe. <laughs> Zimbabwe they got rid of the white folks and now they're blaming the Indians. What do you think about that, Hake? This is Hake from the HakeReport.com right after my show, Monday through Friday. <laughs> Communism. <laughs> <laughs> That's in Zimbabwe? Uh -huh. They're accusing the India Indians, right? My, not the... Not the my mother married us in Cherokee, not right. an Indian. Yeah. But those other Indians over there that look like Indians. R right. <laughs> <laughs> so they're so, coming down on hard times. So they're stocking up, this, allegedly. Yeah, they're saying that the Indians are, Indian are now stocking up food and stuff in the warehouse, stockpiling. Yeah, right. And then they're uh, hi hijacking... Hiking, hiking up the prices. The prices to the other black people. They want to buy some of y'all and pay extra for it. Right. It sounds just what they do in America and accuse the whites the same way. Yeah. And so they did that to the whites and the white left, and now they're doing it to the Indians. Black people always blame us. Why the? How come the Indians are the ones with the warehouses? Why can't the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, These are like the red dot. Uh, Right, the ones with Gandhi the Gandhi Indians. Yeah, yeah, the ones from India. Right. Not to be confused with American Indians. Right. Um, I wouldn't put it past India Indians uh, pulling shenanigans like that a little bit. Right. Yeah, of course. But uh, but that's you don't do one. That sounds kind of wrong of them. But that's what <laughs> the Inga government does, though. The government to impose on them in. To that extent, but the, in, the 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 people who run the government uh, fall a state uh, in a fall state as well. They have right. hate in their hearts, anger in their hearts as well. Yeah, they go to do to one another just what everybody else is doing to one another. Yeah, we have true. anger. Yep, and turn on one another. Yeah, and you didn't. The non-Indians didn't set up their life in a way that they're pre prepared for hard times, and they voted in people bringing on hard times. This guy's. This guy's kind of repaying evil for evil, and I think evil is only going to keep on winning. Like it's only going to keep falling apart because yeah. it's cheapening 
the value of this stuff if they're going to give it away. It's about they're going to go in there and take it. The whole reason that they're hoarding is because they sense hard times coming. I mean, not the whole t- whole reason, but part of the reason you would hoard and hike prices is because it's not plentiful. Right. Times are not plentiful. Yeah. And absolutely, it's kind of like with the China virus shutdowns. It messed up a whole lot of things, and prices were going up because people were trapped. I remember one time they were saying that the eggs, eggs in our country were like really expensive. Yeah, very recently, actually. Yeah. It's still pretty expensive, I hear. Amazing. And coming down now. So I wonder how the Indian feel over there knowing this man, he's the president of the country, and he's like, we're going to come and take your warehouse. <laughs> they're, they're used to being enterprising shysters in uh, freer countries, supposedly like America. And then they go over there and be enterprising shysters. Who and, the Indians? Yeah. But what is they shouldn't be putting a stop piling. I don't know if they should be doing as much as they are. I don't know. Well, I just, I just happen to. Well, you know, you had to. I just happen to know that a lot of foreigners are very enterprising, but they're not as honest as like the old school American enterprising people supposedly were. Maybe right. At least like. A lot of, there was a lot of high trust society in white America. And in India, although they're very go-getter type people, they're not necessarily known to be honest, I don't, I don't, I don't think. Can you imagine, though, I could be mistaken. living in a country that's... Right, and you go even worse, black. where the people aren't even enterprising, they're just shysters. Right. <laughs> <laughs> living in a black country, ran by black. Can you imagine the hell that must be? Yeah. No thanks. If you doubt me, look at South Africa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where they're running out of water. Run, they have child headed households. They have AIDS. They have murder, theft, redistribution of the wealth, the land. Well, Not that, wealth, the redistribution of poverty. Well, that Zimbabwe where they ran the whites out and then the blacks took over the farmland, but they didn't know how to farm the land. And they. They were begging the whites to come back. It might have been. I don't know much about history. In some part of Africa, but I forgot which part. But it sounds like Zimbabwe. I may be wrong. Yeah. It's wherever uh, justice is from. <laughs> justice. Not justice, but Justin. Justin. Yeah, he's from Africa. Yeah. And they ran the A whites. white African. Yeah, they ran the whites out of there, and the blacks started starving. Yeah. They're like, white folks, come back. We welcome back to the Fort Bland. <laughs> and who stole the land from the Indians in our country? Or is that just another lie? They claim that the whites stole the land. I knew it was another lie. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, Ben and Jerry. Oh. Yeah, I heard about this. I saw a tweet <laughs> about this. Apparently, Ben and Jerry done forgot. They think that the Indians stole, the, the whites stole the land from the Indian. Another lie that's been put out there. The New York Post is reporting that in a 4th of July message, Ben and Jerry argued that July's, July 4th celebration can... Uh, Distract from an essential truth about this nation's birth. Watch this from BenandJerry.com. The United States was founded on stolen indigenous land. This 4th of July, let's commit to returning it. (laughs) Uh, That's terrible. With a little sign, this is stolen land. Anybody that live in our country, my country, and think that way, they need to take their Ben and Jerry ice cream to Zimbabwe. <laughs> yeah, they tweeted that. I heard that they put that out on, well, I mean, on Independence Day. Or maybe before it. Didn't they know? Okay, you can go away now. Didn't they know <laughs> that it's... <laughs> didn't they know that it's White History Month? I don't know if they've caught wind of that. They need they're, to catch- I think they're living in their own little bubble. They're sheltered from white history. You think that's bad? 
Here's a 4th of July tweet from New York State Representative Jamal Bowman. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> from Twitter. This July 4th, we must remember that we stand on stolen land, toiled by enslaved Africans, and recommit ourselves to the fight for freedom, equality, and justice so that these ideals are accessible to everyone, not just a privileged few. We are not free until everyone is truly free. Mate, what are you saying to that? What does he even mean by freedom? <laughs> I think he means communism. I think he means free stuff. And, uh... And... So, if they and supposedly fixing something that they don't even have the real history of. How old is this Jamal Bowman guy? Too old. No. So old they dumb. I think he's, it, old, he's okay, he's 47 years old. I saw a clip of him lifting 400 pounds. He's a gym rat. I saw that on, on your appearance on the uh, on a War Room with Owen Schroyer. But was he fat? A little bit. A little bit chunky. He must be one of those... But uh, he bench pressed 400-something pounds. He must be all... I thought I heard. Maybe he one of those, like, those people that lift heavyweight lifters, uh -huh. but they still be fat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he's a... He's too old to believe in that. I don't Except know. he's black. He's black, know. so you can kind of believe it. Oh, Nick, call those kind of people power lifters. Power lifting? Because he was still real fat when he got out of his belly and got up before he did. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> um, yeah, that's ridiculous. He's talking about, oh, that's, that's that communist Howard Zinn phony propaganda, atheist propaganda, people's history of the United States of America. Right. Trump was moving to get that crap, sorry kids, out of this, I can say that on your show? Crap? Yeah. No. <laughs> Oh. You can't say crap. Whoa. You said it three times. <laughs> I'm getting desensitized. But he was moving that out of the schools. Trump was. He, he called out Howard Zinn, who's dead. Yeah. He's like a non-Christian guy. Not even like a normal white who just put out this propaganda book pretending that America was founded on slavery and genocide. Slavery of the blacks and genocide of the American oh, yeah. Indians. So if he think that he's standing on the wrong kind of land, why don't why won't he leave this country and go stand on somebody else's land? Yeah. He ain't gotta stay. Yep. But he's here to take it away from the whites and give it to the people who are sitting around like bumps on a log with no character to uh make it make it strong and tough and uh prosperous. Like a knot on a log. Yeah. Um, Sound, he sounds just like the uh, guy that you showed, the Zimbabwe yeah. president or king or dictator, whatever that guy was. Another worst kind of a lie is when someone say you owe, you are owed something. That's the worst kind of lie. Watch this from Time Magazine. On Barbados, representatives have moved from a, a French idea to a thing everyone is talking about. Watch this from Sky News. Talking about lying. It can be hard to fully come to terms with what happens here. Roof a mulatto slave, the property of Sierra Murrell. But it was time for Prince Charles to listen. At the National Archives in Bridgetown, he was told of the atrocities carried out by their colonial masters. The death and torture suffered by thousands of enslaved Africans brought here to work. What the royal family need to do is to apologize for slavery. The royal family need to pay a reparation for slavery. The appalling atrocity of slavery which forever stains our history. 
What's interesting when you speak to people Forever. here is they'll make the point that reparations isn't just about the UK handing over cash. They need investment in things like roads and technology. They want young people to get scholarships for universities. And it's those kind of things that they say will make a real difference. In Jamaica, Mike Henry is an MP leading the demand for reparations and a split from the royals. We should have been a republic, as I said, from the time of independence. That is when we should have demanded a settlement. But at that point, we didn't know who owned the slaves. At that point, we were told we could manage our own affairs. And therefore, there were the reasons why he wouldn't pay us and settle for us. That white, that supposedly white, is he mixed black? What is this guy? <laughs> this uh, Labor Party, meaning communist, right? Uh, member of parliament in Jamaican. Wow, he's he's been in there 30 years, 88 years old. <sighs> um. So my question is, the blacks banging and whining all over the world? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that a black thing or what? It's not a stain. I was thinking about slavery this morning. It's not a stain <laughs> on, uh, not. on the history. Like, there's worse stuff, or there's bad stuff happening right now, today, that these people support. And so, that has, I don't know, I think that slavery is not as bad as that stuff that's happening today. And it's not even relevant to today. The stuff that's happening bad right now is actually needs attention. But they support it. So the blacks are banking all over the world? They're uh -huh. all the same? That's well, part. That's one of the evils <laughs> that's worse than slavery. It's weird, though, because I feel like growing up, like, people who, who were Cape Verdean or from Barbados and stuff, yeah. they looked at, like, uh, American blacks talking about this stuff at, differently. Like, well, they didn't really... They didn't feel like victims? The victim thing, yeah. They didn't really, like... So why are they all banging? I don't know. I guess America's setting a bad example. What? America is setting a bad example. <laughs> no, they heard about free money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Charles. That guy is too old to be kissing up like that, and he's wearing a mask. But he's old, so he should wear a mask. And his but, mama never did that, right? Or am I wrong? Kiss am up? Uh-huh. Oh, phew. I think she's the queen of kiss was the queen of kissing up. What what was her name? Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth? Miss There's Elizabeth? Something? Queen. That's queen to you. No, blacks are queens. <laughs> Black women are queens. <laughs> I have a feeling that I don't know. You know how the black women they call themselves queens. But was she weak like that? I think she was. Oh. She wasn't I mean they were accused of being racist anyway cuz she was a little bit Old school. Oh, yeah, because that black gal married her son, right? Yeah. Her grandson? Yep. And went over there and destroyed the family. Yeah. With her mess. Supposedly black now, gal. Uh, now they're fighting with her because of her mess. Yeah. What a mess. And last but not least, I didn't know the blacks were begging all over the world. And because I think it's I think it's a vicious circle because the the whites the supposed whites, are kissing up all over the world. I know, yeah. Whites have really gotten weak. But no wonder the blacks think white people are superior to them. They're always begging them all over the world. Yeah. And last but not least, here's a July 4th tweet from Congressman Cory Bush from Missouri. Female watch, congressman. Watch this from uh, Twitter. Watch this. The Declaration of Independence was written by enslavers and didn't recognize black people as human. Today is a great day to demand reparations now. That was her Independence Day tweet, huh? Reparations I now. <laughs> reparations now, reparations forever. And she put <laughs> a light-skinned black fist emoji, communist fist emoji there. This gal, and she, look, she capitalized the B in the word black to kiss up to the blacks. She's, she's that one who pretended to be homeless on the steps of the Capitol building and to think she was a single mother on welfare before becoming a female congressman. But how do you know she, to, to make black capitalize 
why why do you think she know how to do English in the right way? Maybe she think that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Black people don't know English. Well, maybe she think cap black supposed to be capitalized. I don't know. The mainstream. She might be educated. Educated. No, if she were educated, she wouldn't be so dumb. No, but I mean so-called educated. Oh. The nowadays indoctrinated people, because the mainstream media is capitalizing the B in the word black too, unless they forgot English, which is <laughs> which is quite possible. <laughs> or they scared to write it the right way because the blacks gonna yell at them. Yeah. And they'll get fired. Blacks owe uh, America. They don't... <laughs> Much more than America owe them. Right. Me, period. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. And uh, what's wrong... Well, I was going to say what's wrong with slavery, but there's a whole lot of... Even back then, slave, they didn't like slavery that much even back then. Who didn't like it? Some of the founders. Wasn't it kind of oh, controversial? Yeah. The white man. Yeah. Yeah, they wanted to set it, black free. Even General Lee, who owned slaves, he was like, it's a political and moral evil. Yeah. But... I don't know if that's. I don't know if they thought that because they knew that this type of stuff was going to be coming, as you know, the sour grapes over slavery, the people who didn't even experience it. Where but General Lee now? He's in heaven, looking up at God. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. Um, uh, Nick is saying that power lifters. Yes, power lifters worry only about lifting a lot. They don't mind getting fat. Ah. I'm glad I'm not a power lifter. What the? Nice. Anyway, short break. When I come back, your phone calls and super chats. 888 Jesse. Back in a moment. I noticed after a while that when these guys overcome their anger... They have amazing ideas about starting a business, but because they've been told that if you don't get a loan from the bank or if you don't have a five-year plan or if you don't do this, and it's just simply not true, it's the first step with faith, then all things are possible. So, But the most important thing is to return to the Father. That yearning that you have, that emptiness, that void, is not for more stuff. It's not for more friends. It is a return to the Father because there's no way you can return to God and be angry at your earthly father. So thank you all so, so much, right? People around the world donated to Bond at rebuildingtheman.com or they call 800-411-2663 and we're still committed to pointing the right way for men and women to return to the Father. Okay, folks, welcome back. Happy White History Month. Welcome back. Uh, the Hake Report is coming up at the top of this hour. The Hake Report from 9 to 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. And then at 12 noon, the American Anchor Baby. The American Anchor Baby at 12 noon Pacific time. You don't want to miss it. He ain't the Anchor Baby for nothing. At 12 noon. Pacific time. And don't forget to visit store. Before we run out, they're special. They're just for the month. So we have a limited supply of colors and sizes and all that. 
So don't be trying to wait around. What the? And uh, you can support us at cash.app slash bond JLP. Cash.app slash bond JLP. And we don't have any uh, what's up, what's app. That's a fake account. We do not have it. All right? Just know that. Watch out for a fake what app. What's app account? They're fake. Um, Super chat. Super, super. Super chat. Super, super, super. super. Yes, sir. Oh, the treasure chest is now open on D-Live. I forgot to mention it when I went out on break. And when I first came back. What the? Vince Passarella on the Bond YouTube channel from Church with JLP. For the love of Jesse Lee Peterson, thank you. What the? What the? Thank you. Matthew with some Norwegian krona. Or Matt, sorry. Thank you, Matt. Says, there is no reason to ever feel guilty, anxious, or anything because you are not God. You are in control of nothing and you have no power at all. Just think about it, folks. Very good point, Matt. Matt, right? Mm -hmm. Just think about it. The wrong that you have done, you didn't want to do. Break it down. You didn't want to do it. You didn't want to think that way. You didn't want to feel that way. You didn't want to do it. What's making you do it? It's not you. So why are you feeling guilty about it rather than seeing it and overcoming it? Think about it. And then you want to do the right thing. You want to be right. But you can't. What's preventing that? Think about it. And then once you think about it, you're going to see it. And then when you see it, you see it's not you. And there will be no guilt. Then you will overcome it. You, you won't be judging. You will overcome. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate it. And uh, on church, also on church, Piotr Robel said, gave some pounds and said, Thank you, Jesse and the team for the best fellowship on this side of heaven. Amazing. Amazing. You missed it. If you didn't, wasn't there yesterday or you didn't watch it live, the church fellowship, go to rebuildingaman.com slash church. Rebuildingaman.com slash church. Amazing. Thank you. And Darion gave a sticker during church, a pear character flying in the air like Superman <laughs> with a red cape and smile on his face and a headband. Nice. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, on... On YouTube, Bond YouTube, Lord Bibby gifted five Bond Rebuilding the Man memberships. Appreciate that. Lord Bibby. Thank you. <laughs> As did... Isn't that, isn't that black? Lord Bibby. Indeed, it is black. I Thank think, you. I feel like he was raised by blacks. <laughs> uh, Triple T did the same. <laughs> Gave uh, five Bond Rebuilding the Man YouTube channel memberships. Who was that? Triple T. Thank you, Triple T. Depressed Toilet gave a super chat. No message. Thank you, man. Donation. Thank you. So did Ryan H.U. Ryan H.U. Gold, Cold Burger Art gave a super chat saying, Amazing fellowship. Every time I hear the name Cold Burger Art, I think of a, a, ham, a hamburger and a beer. Mm. Though I don't drink beer. Right. I, never drink, I tried to drink beer once when I was a kid. I got drunk. As a teenager, uh -huh. I threw up in my cousin's car. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he was grown. I was still in high school. And I threw up in his car. We were at some club. And he was so mad, he went home and left me in the back seat of the car drunk. I had to sleep out there all night. I was so cold <laughs> and threw up all over me. Oh, man. Did you, have to, did you personally have to clean up the car or did he help? No, nah, he didn't help. I had to do it. Nice. Good. <laughs> Did it stink for a while after? Like, now they're going nose. <laughs> uh, nice way to never drink again. I uh, know. So I said, I, every time I think of beer now, I get sick. <laughs> it does seem beta when you see beer in the public, in the public eye or hear about it. Because you think about the beer drinking people. Elizabeth Warren. Hi, honey. You want a beer? Or that guy. It doesn't look right for a woman to be drinking a beer. Yeah. It she's doesn't to, fit. Well, she's trying to run for president the other several years back. I remember. Four, a few years ago. 
And then uh, that one guy, Brett Kavanaugh, that beta guy whom uh, Trump, <laughs> he likes beer. I like beer. That's kind of beta. And then, then, then they had that Bud Light thing with the transgender guy. Gal oh, yeah. Thing, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So it just seems Thank not you. manly. Uh, saw East win Poca, Poca Ren says, thanks, you. Amazing. Thank you. E- Ivan Wayne Link. Wayne- oh, I- Ivan or Ivan Wayne Inc. Incorporated says, Gr- gracias a Dios por todo. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> si. Gracias. <laughs> you nada. Nice. <laughs> yeah, nada. <laughs> Triple T has been a member for five months as a Bond Channel supporter, and he answers the new biblical question. Uh, what color was Jesus? Jesus' color is July. <laughs> <laughs> July feels white. Thank you. I'll put my two cents in on Sunday. Thank you. And that's that for the Super Chats for church, but there are a couple for... Uh, Today, okay. Evgeny Crosby gave a couple of diamonds, saying, I'm walking through every hood and ghetto with my July Just Feels White <laughs> t-shirt. Let's get it. Uh, amazing. <laughs> Be careful. Ravender on Streamlabs, Jesse Lee Peterson.live. Jesse Lee Peterson is your true father, James Hake. His complexion is darker than yours, but make no mistake, he is your true father. Amazing. Amazing. Isn't there something that this guy said he was wearing this white history shirt through the hood? <laughs> yeah. You have to just think about this. Human beings would try to hurt another human being because of what they have on. I know. That doesn't even make sense. Right. You know you're in a fallen state. Indeed. Oh, man. But thank you. Uh, also on Streamlabs, Martinez D says, Jesse, Forrest Gump is also one of my favorite movies ever. One thing it occurred to me is that Forrest was raised by a single mother, and he turned out fine. Do you think his mom is a good example of the rare mother who has woken up? Maybe. I don't know about him being fine, because he seemed to be a little off, too. Yeah. I think he was... But I think he was just literally R-worded, like retarded. Right. Slow. Oh, yeah. He might have a phys... But isn't he a fictional character anyways? I think this is a made-up person. But I've seen people like that in my lifetime. Dr. Ben Carson, he was raised by a single mother. But he was like that. What the? <laughs> <laughs> ben Carson's a genius. And I'm telling you. I know, but he, he performs, has... He performs has, heart surgeries through the feet. Whoa. He's just soft-spoken, but he's not like off. Yeah, or simple. Right. My, simple. <laughs> White people. <laughs> I see white people. Okay. He does heart surgery, too? I thought he was just a brain surgeon, a child brain surgeon. Yeah, brain surgeon. Separated, conjoined twins. I don't know about the heart. He does heart nah, surgery. No, he said he does heart, and he does it through the feet. Maybe that was just in the movie with that one guy. How are you going to do heart <laughs> through the feet? No, that, I, it's like some, that's what I'm saying. Your heart He's, way up here, and your feet way down there. That's what I'm saying, though. He's a genius. <laughs> Anyway, I, I never heard he did heart surgery. <laughs> Maybe I yeah, just haven't be. heard. Just because I didn't hear it, I mean, it's not so. Riley but J. Thank you. Riley J. M. on Jesse Lee Peterson. Live. I always heard the word racism, but didn't know the depths of what it looked like after watching vids on YouTube about it, uh, especially the, the Fallen State show. I see how blind people are spiritually. Racism is a lie, it is a blame game, and blame. Is a lie. Yeah, absolutely. It really, really is. Racism is a ball faced lie. It's not true at all. Amazing. Thank you. Soul Conscious double super chatted on Streamlabs saying, Jesse, amazing church. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I hope it's helpful too. Uh, check out church rebuilding a man dot com slash church. Amazing. Thank you. Lin Yen Chin says, thanks, Lord Good Hair. You were correct about my error, because he said convinced when he really meant convicted that we read last hour. Right. Uh, in that super chat, you read me well. Hey, I thought about that racist term. It could have been the original term for competitor. Those who race are racists. 
And racism just means competition. Like Amazing. when you're running a race. Yeah. Get it? Oh, uh, he called you Lord Good Hair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Riley JM on Streamlabs. What are dreams? Is it your subconscious mind? It's the unconscious mind. Is it the same as subconscious? Yeah. And thank you to the top contributors on D Live: Mav, Angel, Coffee Talks with Sandra, Evgeny Crosby, Games for Rec, Kid Combo One, Wrinkle Hands, Bing Bong, Fatty Wat, Goyam Defender, Diane D, and Wolf Three Three Six. Thank you guys for the Amazing. support. Amazing! Thank you all. I do appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me go to Kyra, a first-time caller out of the Caribbean. Cura, I mean. Cura. Cura. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Hi, Jesse. How you doing? All is well. How are you? I'm well. I'm no man is good. I'm well. That's right. <laughs> well, I'm calling because I recently broke up with my ex, and I kind of made him my god. And now I'm, I'm suffering. So I just wanted your advice on that, how to keep the thoughts at bay and how to feel complete nice. without him. Do you, uh, was it a boyfriend or husband? Ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend. And how are you feeling about it? I just, it, it, like, I feel incomplete. I've been feeling pretty depressed. So I just want to know how can I get over that. The way you get over it, and this is, just realize this is perfect for you, too. Just realize that all the thoughts and the feeling that you have are not real. And that what you thought you had with him, trying to uh, complete yourself through him, was wrong. And be mm -hmm. glad to see, watch you, and so that this fate you can disappear. And don't blame him for anything, because he didn't make you feel that way about him. He didn't make you get that identity from him, false identity. It's all on you. And if you watch it, knowing that all thoughts are all lies all the time, and so are the emotions, and allow that to die, you would never have to go through that again. That's interesting. And then the next guy you get with, you won't make him your guy. You won't try to get anything from him, and you would never, ever have to go through this again because the old, unnatural nature would disappear and the real you would come forth. Amazing. Amazing. So just be glad for it and watch it. Let the thoughts pass. Are you doing the silent prayer? I have not. I've heard about it, but I haven't gotten around to looking it up yet. Well, start doing it. If ever you need it, you need it now. And just stay with the silent prayer. Watch the thoughts, knowing that they are not your thoughts. They are not from God. And the feelings that come with it are all ego, all the illusion. And that it's not happening to the real you, it's happening to the fake you. That's some good advice. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jesse. You're welcome. I'll start the silent prayer. You, yes. I wish you well, all right? Wish you well, too. Thank you. Amazing. It's the same spirit everywhere. Everybody have the same problem. Maybe a little difference, maybe a different situation, but it's the same spirit. It doesn't matter what language you speak, who you are, or where you are. It's the same problem. Let me go to Nick out of Texas. Nick, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Good morning. How are you? All is well. How are you, Nick? All is well. Thank you. Uh, happy White History Month. Happy White History Month. July yes. just feels white. Yeah, my I'm white and my birthday is July 1st, so I feel great. What a time to be born. Uh-huh. Uh, Jesse, my question to you is about your silent prayer. Um, I've been doing your silent prayer, and it's great. Uh, my question is, um, how does the silent prayer, uh, prayer compare to regular prayer that we've always heard about, seen, where you know people are uh, consciously trying to uh, pray to something um, and ask Jesus for something uh, in that like? What is the difference? Because your silent prayer is very similar to what, you know, other, you know, spiritual people or people that meditate would do, with, you know, just to sit and clear their head. So, 
Well, with, with the silent prayer, you're not cl- trying to clear your head. You're just watching the, the darkness, which are the thoughts and the imagination, right? And you're allowing the mm-hmm. light of God to take over and destroy it. The other prayer where people would be praying to Jesus for a different thing, asking for stuff, bless my mama, bless my daddy, and all that. They're praying uh-huh. to the devil. They're not praying to God. That's why those prayers are never answered, because they're praying to the devil. Okay. So I guess are you saying that that's how Jesus and his disciples would have prayed, just by being? Yes. Jesus Christ was a living being. And he just, yeah. if you notice, he he just was. He was never begging and whining or anything. Very interesting. Very cool. Um, Jesse, I had one more question. I hope this is okay to ask you. Um, I've been watching you for a very long time. Uh, I do respect you. Um, I have seen a bunch of weird stuff where some, some crazies. Uh... I got to run, buddy. I don't want to get into gossip. Gossip with your girlfriends, not with me. Michael out of Los Angeles. Michael, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Jesse, I uh, I came to the uh, uh, church event yesterday. Unlike Pete Buttcheeks when the uh, trains wrecked, I actually <laughs> came on site and I saw you. Right on. And uh, I loved it, man. I, I loved your monkey in the round shirt. And um, the only thing is the chairs hurt your back. After a while, that's the only thing I'll complain about. Nice, but it was great. It was amazing. Amazing. Um, but uh, Jesse, so uh, I've been listening a lot to your talk about like girlfriends and forgive your mama. Yeah, and you and I agree. It's just like um, I want to have a girlfriend. You're kind of freaking me out about even having a girlfriend because I feel like she's going to ruin my life. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? She won't run it if you don't make her your god. If you overcome your mother, the spirit of your mother, and don't make her your God, she won't run it because you'll be in control. You won't be trying to get something from her. You'll just be you. And that way you don't have to spend your money on her because you're not trying to get something, you know, so-called love or sex or anything. And so you'll be able to just, um, you'll be able to, and you should, you know, don't go out looking for a date, but you should date so you can see how to deal with women in the right way, especially after you overcome your mother. But if you're not trying to get something from her and you just be you, she can't she can't hurt you. Okay, but isn't every guy trying to get sex from the girl? And right. That's kind of the push pull. Right. That's why men that's why women control men like that and destroy them because they know that the men are just are trying to get sex from them. And so they'll let them, they'll play along with the game in order to destroy the man. Mm. Okay. So just be yourself. And that's, that's what saves you. You, you realize that you don't need her, but like you would want to have sex with her if she allows you to. Right. But you won't go down that road. You will exactly. be able, if you're in control, you'll be able to wait until marriage. I don't want to wait until marriage. Oh, well, then suffer. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying don't... I, I know you can't have kids. Here's what I recommend you do. Yeah. To, to keep from saying no or yes. Do the silent prayer, forgive your mother, and then just take it one step at a time. Let the light of God guide you. You'll be fine. Okay. Thank you, Jesse. All right, buddy. Amazing. 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 Let me go quickly to... Uh, Uh, let's see here. Is it Alexis? Alexis out of Illinois. Alexis, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hi, Jesse. How are you? All this well. How you doing? I'm doing well myself. Thank Good. you. Doing my silent prayer, so everything is going great. Stay with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Yes, sir. I called to answer the biblical question. What color was Jesus? I believe that Jesus was an olive-complected, brown-skinned man. <laughs> and why do you believe that? Just because of the area that he came from. It just makes sense. However, I do know that, you know, people do come in different shades of colors from all over the world. Right. But because um, Putin, President Putin, had put out a picture 
like he showed the Bible with it, with Jesus' picture in it, and it just seemed like he was a brown skinned man. Amazing. So, have you always felt that he was that color, or did you pick that up from that picture? No, sir. When I was younger, I thought he was white. Oh, like, okay. Blonde hair, blue eyes, just because of what they had depicted in the churches. Right. Amazing. Well, I appreciate that, Alexis. I'll put my little two cents in on Sunday. Sounds good, Mr. Jesse. All right. Take care, now. Thank you. You too. Bye. Uh, bye now. Um, Jim, a first-time call out of New York. Jim, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Yo, how you doing? All is well, sir. How are you? I'm all right. I'm, I'm talking about all those immigrants coming to America. What's up with that? Are they illegals? Yeah, yes. I'm sorry? Yes, I mean, yes. It's, it's too many of them they're letting them here. Yeah. They're going to cause a lot of problems. And that's why they're letting these people here. They got the borders wide open. And there are illegals coming across from around the world, and they're letting them in to try to get the votes, but to also create as much confusion and chaos as possible so that they, the government, can take control of the people. Well, Jeff, I got it. Have you overcome your homosexuality? Your, your homosexuality? Why you didn't ask me that at the beginning, you dumb person? What the? Amazing. Um, do the silent prayer. Become your own man. Stay on that straight and narrow path, no matter what. Stay on the straight and narrow path, folks. All thoughts are all lies all the time about anything, and so are emotions. All right? So stay there, stay there. The hate, become your own man, your own woman. The hate report is coming up now. TheHakeReport.com. And at 12 noon, the American Anchor Baby. The American Anchor Baby. Rick out of Hampton, Virginia. Nino out of Illinois. And the College of Israel. I am so out of time. But listen, you're not your thoughts. You're not your feelings. Drop the anger. Forgive. You hear the story of what anger is doing. It's up to you. It's a spiritual battle. And happy White History Month. I'll be back tomorrow. Country Western Tuesday. If the Lord is willing and the creek don't rise. All right. Thank you all. Have a good day. The hate report is coming up now. Amazing. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, it's right if we give our plans up. I know we can have faith in the unseen. While we stand up and get back to the way we were designed to be. I know we can find our way. 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 You must know that so so you can. Get on the track one time. Joel Friday here. Look, stand up, stand up. We got fighting to do. We gotta show him who boss. He put a Viking in you. He put that lightning in you. Igniting the truth. But you beg and blame and lie and hate and never wanna stand for the truth. So what you planning to do? You understand in the loop. You better go talk to your mama. Better stop at the drama. Better drop all the trauma. Boy, you better stand up and up. Put your hand up and hut, huh. cause if you don't then we lose and then we gotta hear the fake news, whoa.
So here's what I recommend. I invite you to download my silent prayer, and I want you to start doing it. You just download it, get the points of how to do it, and then after a while, you just do it on your own. It's going to point you in the right direction that your life will be returned to you from God. He will give you your life back because anyone and all people who has anger, they're not themselves. You are the person that you are angry at. That's why it's so important to get to know yourself so that you can see who you're angry at. And if you're doing the hooping and hollering prayers and things like that, some people get up, oh, praise the Lord, hoop and holler, bless my mama, bless my daddy. Continue to do it. Do both. You will see if you want to stay with the hooping and hollering or do you want to be still and know God. So my gift to you, no charge, at rebuildingtheman.com slash church. Anytime you have situations happening in your life, always be still. Don't overreact. Most of the people that I know, they say, oh, I know Jesus. I love Jesus. I'm an I'm observer. And as soon as something don't go their way, they get mad. I'm like, what the? If you overreact, folks, remember to do that. Don't overreact. And when you get mad, it's your problem. It ain't your wife's problem, your husband's problem, your neighbor, your friend, your preacher, your teacher. It's your problem. Why do you think you tick? It didn't go your way or the way you think it should go. Don't have a way you think it should go. Let life just happen. Thoughts make you think that life should go the way you want it to go. And if it doesn't, if someone don't do or say or act the way you think they should act, you hate them. And then you blame them for being mad. It's the darnest thing I've ever seen. But it's amazing to see it. So relax. Relax. 